Okay. Excuse me, viewers, whilst I just move the camera around a little bit. i got to make myself look good here. i got to get my best angle. I think that's my best angle. Good evening. Oh, my. Think about the racing guru. The best goddamn racer in the world. The best commentator in the world alongside the co-best commentator in the world. Here we are, RF1. It's season two. Division two. The very first race of the season is Australia, Armageddon in Australia, the best racing league in the world. If you're not watching, why aren't you? Get everybody involved. Phone up your grandma, phone up your niece, phone up your sisters, brothers, cousins, fathers, daughter-in-law. Get them watching. <laughs> Here we are, alongside Poz Glad, my main man, and it's raining. Good evening, Poz. Good evening, Beer. Uh, that's why you guys viewers have heard me spun the conversation with Beer's intro going, oh my, because I loaded in before everyone else. Evening RF1 fans and most racing fans in general, it is absolutely blathering down as Beer and Kebab says we are in Division 2, Season 2, Race 1, Melbourne. The home of course, well the sort of home of the Kiwi Kingress, he calls it his home Grand Prix. We've caught, I don't believe we're doing Q1, I don't know if the guys are going to be going out or not, um, I've said no, but if they want to go out and have a, I guess have a lap, then... We're not going to like hand draw a quarter of them, are we? But um, people are leave. Gonna... People are retiring already. They're retiring already. They've had enough. They don't want to see. They want to see Q2 in dry weather. I hope it rains. I hope it rains real hard. They're Let's sort out the now. boys tonight. <laughs> Let's see how these boys can do it. F2. They're too good for F3. They're F1 wannabes. <laughs> Who are they? Which are they? You know what I mean? Right, quick uh, quick rundown of the runners and riders. Quadra Contro, Tomster, John oh, Ramos, Swanee, Abase, Mashman, Dragoon, Hightower, Muir Head, Pete, Rara, Ben Prime, Anstan, RIP Anstan, and King Chris. <laughs> evening, Ralph, on the chat as well. King Chris going to be watching as well. Um, we're going to be a really, really good one, mate. Good evening. Cool. It's Ralph. Ralph's in the house. Good evening, Ralph. How are you, my friend? Getting really annoyed well, with this. Well, some cars have gone out, man. You're on my bloody list. Um, I'll tell you what, they're brave going out. hosting now. Just coming up, just literally pop through now. Chris with a bit of a I've got, I've got the world's worst camera view of... Uh, oh, there we go. We're on board with... Uh, Dan Pennell's making his F2 official league debut tonight. Promoted from F3 last season. Still is. We've got a few of them in here. Um, a base. Um, he was just literally retired as a spunk. Um, Quadjo, of course, is a very interesting one. Um, I've pretty uh, Don't call his name. I'm not finishing my song off, Mark. I'll just salivate too much. <laughs> but um, yeah, literally, he told him, mate, if he readies up, uh, we're going to send Shag after him. So I think that should intimidate him enough not to, not to do anything. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If Shag's going to go after him, Shag has got to yet to reappear from the parallel dimension. <laughs> He's still currently racing around Australia. <laughs> he is still racing around Australia, apparently. He's on lap 4,923. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's actually surreal, mate, because I used to race with a lot of these guys last season. Um, obviously, we've seen them myself recently. Um, but it's like crazy, mate. Like, I'm, I'm commentating on my teammate from last year. I'm seeing Division 3 guys be here. Moving up to Division 2, we've got 1, 2, 3. We've got 5 Division 3 guys, I think, across the board, all moving up. And obviously, Quadjo, we've not actually seen him, you know, perform. This is his first performance. No, RF1. absolutely. And we've got an F1 driver, an F2. Swanee's Swanee. in, making his F2 debut tonight. He is, mate. Taking the humble approach. Um, knowing that, I think he... I don't know, it's funny. He's a very, very tricky one. He was on that bubble, wasn't he? There was a few of us all on I that bubble. Pete was on there I as think well. He'll, I, th I think he'll be good, yeah. And also, uh, making his league debut tonight in F2, his RF1 debut, official debut, Muirhead. And Classic Crashman. Both of them. Classic Crashman. I thought Classic Crashman raced in Abu Dhabi. Um, I he did. Uh, details. <laughs> he probably did, I don't know. Like I said, I'm nobody pretty, remembers Abu Dhabi. I'm pretty, sure, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he crashed in Abu Dhabi. Speaking of crash, I mean, Chris in the McLaren here, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't really crash because he's, he's kind of taking a massive risk going out on these tyres, I tell you. Especially yeah, in Q1. He's out in the... Uh, it's 
I suppose it well, reminds you, we, it, before we know it, it might be raining QT, so we might be just getting a couple laps and getting to feel the old tyres, just see how wet things are. I can see how wet it is, mate. <laughs> you can see it clearly here. Awful here. Oh, Chris, that's actually a nice corner. I'm a little bit wide there, coming out of, I'll have coming out of 10. But I bear, um, new beginnings, of course. New beginnings in the land of RRF, and of course we had ourselves what was a cross between an absolute clusterfuck and an amazing Grand Prix yesterday. There were so many good bits, so many bad bits. Division 3 basically kicked off the way that you'd expect Division 3 to kick off, wouldn't you? Absolute chaos and carnage. Like it, like everywhere, but still fun. <laughs> um, Tom's in the chat saying, be a rock and a Stevie Wonder glasses. <laughs> Hey, yes. hey, 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 what? Who said that? I can't Thompson. see. I can't see. Next thing you know, he's going to be blind a lot in the basement tied up, mate. He'll probably still probably see a bit better than Steve Wonder, wouldn't he? Um, anyway, it's great, Chris, and come around. Uh, setting the first official lap of Division 2's main season. Exterminate. I'm still crackling. I brought a crackle with me tonight, guys. Who's Chill Winston, 1, 2, 3? You followed oh. me last week. Is that one of your, is that one of your followers, is it? Yeah, I think, you followed, evening, anyway. I think he's followed both of us, mate, to be fair. Um, yeah. Winston, thank Good you for watching. Uh, Do, I look like a lady. Paper, yeah. Do I look like a lady? Actually, probably. Yeah, I keep on refreshing the damn thing. You know it's like, it's, it's pathetic. It's fucking ages. <laughs> Chris has just been bombed with messages. <laughs> I don't know if was, so, was, that, was that subtle hint to get out? <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Right, hang on. I'm going to go into my computer, I'm going to go into my creator dashboard, and I'm going to go and change a couple of things here. Yet again, yeah, I've got to change the category manually. You'd think this is this the only game I have a pro that we have a problem with. It's the only game. FIFA used to. Hey, Bear, it's just updated. Ping, right there. It just lets you, it actually brought up the subscribe thing, so I've been subscribed to you, of course. It brought up the sub, and... Yeah, nice one. We're, we're no, it's, 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 it's still not on mine, mate. I've still got nothing. Yeah, mate, I'll fire this over to you. Oh, what the... No, why is it called landscape? <laughs> it's raining again. It's raining. Yes! I knew, I knew Come it would on! Be. I knew it would be. Come on, man. Go on your way on Facebook if you get a second to have a look, mate. I don't think we'll get many seconds to have a look. Um, here we go. Something. Division 2. How's rain? Division I do remember fondly, of course. Got a lot of fond memories from this and a lot of not so fond memories. <laughs> Highlights in the thing. Retiring in the pits, mate, of course. Championship over. Australia, I didn't even um, make it to the start of starting grid last Australia. We had um, a glitch, which meant I couldn't put a setup on. And I'm sorry, but I'm a perfectionist. If I can't put a setup on, I don't race. Piss that. Simple as that. <laughs> Unless you're basically risking performance, and we got our setups anyway, but I kind of said, oh, Pete runs a little bit yeah. he's the first car out. Mate, of course, Pete, five people retire, or not retire, five people, people eliminated. We lose five now. The, the, the question is, is that is Q3 going to be wet, or is it going to be dry? Anyone in the chat who's privy to the Melbourne Meteorological, meteorological the, the fucking weather office? Oh, we got it. Give us a shout. Um, dry race. Race is dry. Chris, what, Chris what, what about Q3? He's going deep. Eye in the sky. Come on, Chris. <laughs> come on, Chris. Show him what you're mate. You know, Pete, just check your weather forecast. Look, I'll send Let us know. Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a good one. I love the first race of the season, Vic, because you just never know who's going to be where. It's obviously, I know you expect it, people to be up there, but at the same time, it's just a case of the, the kind of aura of unknown is incredible. I... I predict a couple in the wall. Is that before or after qualifying? <laughs> uh, before, before. Chris uh, says in the chat, you can't see Q3. Actually, well, I can't see because I've got my blind glasses on. I can't see a damn <laughs> thing that I can't even see. But yeah, um, okay. So yeah, five, as you said, five drop out. Five drop out, Q out of Q2, then it's a top 10 shootout, we don't know it's going to be wet, then it's going to be dry, um, the tyre choices at the moment are completely irrelevant, it looks like it looks like this is going to be staying all the way through Q2, so they can start whatever they like during the race. Pretty much, it hard, almost guarantees um, a one stop doesn't it basically, in this sort of sense, depending on yeah. how you want to run your race. 
I'd say it's, so. Or, yeah. or you could, or how you want to ruin your race if you had an A into that word. Um, so here comes Pete then. Bill, we've got first car on track, first lap in anger for Q2. Pete, of course, one of the I'll four tell you what, I, do, uh, I do like the look of that Williams, you know. Yeah, yeah, left left fantastic. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's just what you want to start. First on. lag out of F2. I, think it's, I reckon he's gone to shag mode. <laughs> Literally, yeah. would. He's, ra he's racing around Abu Dhabi at the moment. Uh, yeah, just got on board with um, Pete. He's coming through sector two, taking it nice and easy. I think he just wants to get that banker lap in. Coming up to the fast. This is this is the chicane. I absolutely love the left right hander coming up. Pete's coming up to it now. Let's see how he takes it. Got to take it cautiously in the light, surely. Oh, come on, just to yeah. see the car on a snap. Yeah. Yeah, he's done that. He's taken that pretty well, actually, because uh, it's a killer. It's a killer of men. Two yellow flag there. Oh, it's dumping hells. I think he's letting faster cars go. Has he got any damage on that car? Uh, yes. I just watch the end, end, end of Pete's lap. Any cars a bit of damage. Division 3 drive a bit as you lose it, you're going to repeat them. It's about 136 something or other. 136.8. Okay, let's see who else is out on fast ones. Pocahontas. 135.9. Okay, he feels a bit happy on the wets. Thompson's in sector 1. Dan Pennell's going to be pitting by the looks of it. Uh, Swanee. Swanee. Here comes oh, Swanee. Swanee. As well. oh, I'm not sure that was in front of him. Swanee comes across Swanee. Swanee. Holy moly, that will be yes. Four, eight. Uh, uh, setting some pace there straight away. Dan Pennells. Is he, is he actually going to set the lap or is he coming in the pits? I'm sure he's going to be pitting. God, be pitting, surely. The pits. Oh, cl classic, uh, classic crash man's out. Sector three. <laughs> what can uh, Mash Man do? I like Matt's line through there. He doesn't take the initial curve, which yeah. spits you out a little bit wider. He's kind of avoided the apex to kind of focus on more of the exit of 15. Nice one, run 16. Mash man. Man. This is going to be a good lap. Eight. Hey, it's a good time, 135.08. Oh, nice. uh, uh, hashtag. Hash, what can we call it? Hashtag setup guru. We'll go for another one. <laughs> setup guru, I love it. And Stan as well. Don't forget about Anstey. Hashtag team, tor team torpedo. <laughs> oh, we never man, forget. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you, you can tell those two are brothers, can't you? <laughs> well, so, well, it's well, I think actually, in, 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 a, I think in the past life, they're. they're Thompson 134.5, he'll be quick. And what's Ben Prime going to do? This looks a bit slower. 136.1 on. puts him in seventh. Yeah, I was going to say, um, and Sam, of course, his brother. I actually think in a past life, I believe in reincarnation, I think in the past life they're actually members of the Luftwaffe in World War Two during the Battle of Britain in the uh, in the Junkers in the Junkers J87 <laughs> Stuka. You know the old dive bomb with the torpedo there. You know, oh my God! That's where they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we've got to add some more controversy in that one, I tell you. Here goes King Christen. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, uh, well, got a Dragoon sector. T he's got a timing, that's, yeah, that's the key thing. On board a Dragoon. But yeah, this. The rain's looking a little bit lighter. The rain is looking a little bit lighter. I don't think it's going to stop, unless it stops right at the end. Oh, is, is Dragoon going to die there? No, nice. Actually, nice it's, you know what? Coming out of the coming out of that uh, the, the fast chicane, there is a nice little. There's a sweet spot there because it's um, the the curve's got a camber like that. If you can see on the screen, then if you can yeah. slot your wheel in, into the middle of that camber, it holds the car. I have to remember that for next season. Too late for this season for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm already dead. You put it out, mate. Um, when I was doing it um, in the practice race last week, because right, you kept saying how I was getting a slightly better lane than Jimmo. It's just you've got to find that perfect little place to position your car. It gives you almost like a boost out of the corner. Dragoon. One nice five five one. Uh, respectable, Nip has been the fourth place. Um, Shout out to Tom's to beer. Damn. Not much practice as well. He's done a 134. Nice. He says in the chat he's not racing in the wet on this game yet. That was his first race, uh, first lap in the wet. Uh, and Stan's had a rough evening, lost 150k on Blackjack. Oh, I presume that's in GTA. <laughs> You'd expect that, wouldn't you? Bloody ads there. Oh, did he lose 150k? Uh, Dan... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Uh, Dan Pennell's just letting cars through. Muir ahead. Muir ahead. Let's watch yep. Muir ahead. Good old Murray, aka John, uh, back in the lobby, which is good. Doesn't appear to be having any lag issues at all, which is good. I think we've got just a whole laggy game at the moment, haven't we? Which is um, one of them things. 
that he would have me your head. Mate, he sorted his helmet out really nicely for that car. That is a really, really good... I think it's a Senna helmet, but it goes, oh my god, where the hell are you going? That is not the ideal line to go for five. That's why, <laughs> yeah, that's why I died. Hey, that was an explosion and a half. And don't forget, we've got the Division 3 champion guys in there, Raritron, or RF1 Raro, as he's now known. Remember, he is, of course, Division 3 champion. A lot of expectation for Raro this season. He needs to deliver on that, of course. Hoping for a very, very good, solid season, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Gaza Burgess is in the house. I'm going to call him Burger King. That's his new name, Burger King. I like that. <laughs> good evening. Yeah. Yes, matey. You follow. You follow. It's... What's your head doing? Really good nice lord. Thing. It's it's Levi Leviosa dud. Leviosa dud. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome. <laughs> That's probably as best you're going to get me, I tell you. Uh, thank you for the follow. You are a boozer and a binger, a legend. Thank you for following the boozers and bingers. Beer and kebabs, gaming community. Let's see what Muirhead can do. Come through the last couple of sectors. I don't think it's particularly quick because he was having a bit of a. I think he was trying to get his. He looked like in sector two, he was trying to get his tyres warmed up. Yeah. Almost a bit in the car again. again. I'm almost certain. Uh, yeah. Uh, base is on outlap. Uh, Jono is also on an outlap. Raratron is still in the pits, hasn't gone out yet. So I think we'll stay on board of you, actually, because this will be a flyer. Let's go up another go. I'll, I'll hop on to Danny P, mate. He's currently going around sector one, so I'll hop on board with Dan. And, um, he's not doing All too right. bad. Actually, I'll, do you know what? I'll, I'll jump on board with Dan, because I've not given any airtime yet. We'll, we'll swap over. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go if, you go, if you go on to Muir, yeah, I'll jump on. I think Dan's, yeah, Dan's a little bit further down the road, going through Who's sector that? two. He's in the banana, he's in the banana car tonight. Someone pulling over to the right there to let someone else through. I believe that was. No, I think. Right, it was... let's, I want, let's have a look at uh, Dan's line through here. The left, right chicane, car moving out of the way. Does he get the line right? Lifts off, but yeah, okay, that's fine. He wants to get a lap in. You do, mate, especially at this sort of early stage. Obviously, five people eliminated. They're going to start feeling the pressure when they come in from this lap and go out on another one. That's when the pressure's really going to hit. Car. But Jagoon moving out of the way, I think it was there. Jagoon is warm down lap. In sixth position, not safe by any stretch of the imagination at all yet. A lot of these guys get one. Pretty much yeah. going to have to go back again. I'd probably say potentially. Wait, Anderson's gone first. Eluded us. Anderson's gone first. Dan Pennell's do 135.3 respect oh, nice. seventh place. Going to jump nice. on board with uh, where's Jono Muirhead? Muirhead's the next lead car, wasn't yeah, he? He is in sector three at the moment. He's obviously about three seconds up on his previous lap, which is obviously because he was warming his tyres up. It's gonna, it doesn't look particularly quick. Very hesitant there. Lift off, not literally lifting off the uh, the accelerator. One, th he's struggling. Needs to go again. Uh, where's Jono? Is it Jono's in sector three? And I think he's got a base just behind him as well. So we'll flick on the Jono, then we'll do a base. Yeah, let's just see him both on the same part of the track, go. This Jono looks good. Oh, he's, he's pitting. He's pitting. Oh, pit good, very, very good. Oh, 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 a base, base has off. lost it. A base has lost it. He's got, he's cutting. He's in a bit of grass cutting there. Actually, come the pits me, but obviously you can't get across that way. Well, you can, but you make sure there's no cars behind you. Rao's on his outlap as well, and a base actually amazingly, even after that. Beats me ahead. Well, <laughs> it, makes, <laughs> it makes you think, mate, what would he have done? Because uh, he lost a good two, three seconds there. Well, I'd say at least, at least a good second and a half. Uh, I'll tell you what, Gaza, I think I'll, I think I'll eat your burgers, mate. I'm a fat twat. <laughs> I like the burgers. Fucking throw some our way, mate. <laughs> throw some our way, fuck it. Call it a wage. We get paid for this. Sort of. Bitch. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, just trying to look in the pits. Right, rah rah. In that sexy looking Williams. Actually, how, can, how can a fucking bit of metal be sexy? I don't know what to say. It can't be sexy. <laughs> yes, mate. Uh, Dampanels! Third! 34 7. Great lap. Good time, yellow flag sexy one. I think he's getting out of the way of somebody. King Chris out of gas. Come on, rah rah. Oh, rah rah's binning it. Now, I wonder, he's, he's not. He's, surely he's not going to find He's in the Williams. Is he, is he going to put slicks on? It's no way they're ready. Surely. Surely. The times are coming down. Is that Rara eliminated from qualifying? He has got time. He has got time to get in and out. He'll have to be damn quick, but he has got time. Yeah. Is anybody on the slicks? No, I think I've got to fit it. Yeah, I've fitted me. No, all one inches, and they're all coming out and out laps, so... I understand the top step. Interesting. I've not come out. Neither has Tower. In fact, the Tower has just come out on track as well. 
No, it's going to be t not touch and go, mate. It's kind of, the mechanics faff around too much. They're only just wheeling him into the garage now. Right, a base went. Okay, the base is on a hot uh, lap. His it? teammate Dragoon got out of the way. I think we just went for uh, a kind of like other... ERS build that didn't even other... in that lap. Other car, yeah. Other cars fell the way. Where's, where's Pocahontas? He's actually right behind a car. Oh, okay, he's got a car be behind him. That is Jono. I think Jono is on an out lap. Just pulled off. Yeah, if, 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 if Quantro's on a fast lap, he's perfectly entitled. Yeah, it's, 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 not, not, yeah, it's, it's form to move out of the way, but he's, he's, he's just have to. He's like, he obviously doesn't want to do Q, he doesn't want to do Q2. He's struggling a bit too much potentially. I know he was having problems in the practice race on last Friday, wasn't he? Getting through the S's and obviously just the car. Yeah, might, might, just, might just be quite happy to just start at the back and ease his, ease his way into the race sort of thing. We are missing, of course, four drivers here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll talk a bit more about that in due course. Obviously, when we get a little bit more of a quiet time, this is the important part of quality. I'm on board with Quadro. Mm. Don't call his name. Yeah, me too, mate. Last, Pogaholtis, what can he do around the last corner? This is looking, this is looking all okay. I don't know if it's, it's going to be an improvement. I think, you know, I think he can squeeze into the top 10 here. It's going to be close. He's in. He is in. 135 6. Everybody behind him on the lap, though. Come on, this is going to be close yes, to the well, who's in sector three? Nobody. Ah, right, a base. A base is in sector three. This one's on the thirteen three quarters. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going again. He's going again. Um, right, sector two. Be... Sector two cars. Right, Pete's in tenth. I'm going to jump on board with Pete at the moment. Going to keep an eye on the other times. Chris is just for the moment bit, is Pete with the, mm. with the 1365. Pete has to improve. Kai got, um, you'd fancy John to go faster than that. Here we go, here we got another one. He is up. Prime. P9. M Prime P9. Yeah, he's now. on the cusp. I, I actually say a 130, 135 flat is, is the cutoff point, I'd say. Yeah, I'm time's coming it. down. Mashman's up yeah. to third. Mashman's third, 134. This is bloody close at the top. Look at that. Yeah. He is all. Three. Little twitch from Pete back end there now. Is he, has he done enough? Has he done enough? Red Bull ben 134. Yeah, so he's safe. Is Pete is Pete going to get into Q3? I, oh, this, is, this, this is this is this is nip and tuck. It's, it's not, not good. Yes, he's there on the cusp. He's on the cusp. Yeah, he's intense. Just about. Wait, a base is down there. John is down there. Where's a the base? It's one top. A base is actually a base is a tenth down on his on his best time. He needs... Right, here comes Jono. Here's Jono, mate. Seconds. Jono, come across. Jono, Jono, get through. Jono, sector three. High pressure lap. Former Division 1 driver. Yeah, Jono, this, of course, from the last year. Here this, we go. This looks all right. This, this looks all right. This is top. Yeah, second. go second. Which puts Pete right, so out. Puts Pete, out. Pete, Pete out. Right, it's where's King Chris? And where's... Right, here's a base. A base is a second down, mate. I'm struggling. I think he's done a lot of laps on the tires, though, isn't he? You feel the burn, yeah. right, even on the full court, obviously on the qualifying pace. Yeah, he's not, mate. He's not. I don't think he's, no, he's well going to make it. What was that fuel as well? Yeah, he's yeah, good call, mate. Okay, good basically, call. right, right, King Chris. It's all on Chris, three. Mate. He's gone much slower as well. Chris has done. He's on four minutes twenty-eight already. Yeah, he's King not through. That's did. it, ladies and gentlemen. Quadrahundro makes it through to Q3. That's the biggest surprise coming out of this. Real good shot. Quadrahundro. Swanee went quickest of all. 137. Sorry, 134.007. High tire was second though. Just ben four Prime. one thousandths. Ben Prime's gone even quicker. 133.7. The track is coming. The rain's almost stopped. The later you go out, the better. Another couple of minutes. Yeah. Another couple of minutes. And this is basically it, right? But what I'm going to do, I'll go for a fag now, mate. And then I can obviously take over the thing of the race for you, you know, when you go for your team rush. Yeah. That's okay, bud. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Q2 done and dusted. We have lost a couple of cars, but it's been no major incident so far, which is good to see. But uh, see, I'll get me XP for being a racing guru. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ben Prime is on quickest in Q2. Swanee was second. Hightower third. Dragoon fourth. Jono fifth. Anstan sixth. Tom's to 7th, Mashman 8th, Dampanel's 9th, Quadrahunjo 10. Those are the guys who've made it up into Q3. Uh, the guys out of Q2, uh, Pete, King, Chris, a base, Muirhead and Rara. Rara didn't set a lap. I don't think a base set a clean lap either. Um, from what I remember the time. Uh, he, he actually set a lap, which is actually quite a reasonable lap, and that was after making a big mistake on the last corner. So he might have... 
you might have gone a lot, lot quicker. Um, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is Q2 done and dusted. Welcome to It's Super. Thank you for following. Welcome to RF1 Beer and Kebabs Game Community. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that looks a bit drier to me. 10th through to Q3. Quadjo, Tomster, Jono, Dampanel, Swanee, Mashman, Dragoon, Hightower, Ben, and Anstan. Good turnout there from the former F3 drivers. We've got one, two, blah, 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 blah. three of them into, into the Q3. That's a pretty good impression. That's a pretty good job, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to put the telemetry on. Uh, is that banana car going out first? It looked like it. Yep, it is. Uh, but it's still on the inters. Well, it's, yeah, that's still inters. It's not quite ready yet, yet for dry. Can we spectate Quadjo? Uh, we will give him some air time, that's for sure. But uh, we try and give everyone uh, a fair crack at the whip in uh, in qualifying and the race. But yeah, we'll give everybody a bit of air time. Quadjo did a good job actually getting to Q3. Uh, Poz is saying in the chat he's having a cigarette break. It's dry. It's not quite dry. There is some spray coming up from the tyres, but it looks it's looking pretty close to a crossover. Maybe give it another couple of minutes. These guys might be looking to do just one run on the Inters, come in and then put a set of slicks on, see how the slicks go. Might be worth a shout here, but we'll stay on board with Dan Pennells. Dan, of course, promoted up from F3 last season. Good, solid driver. Switched over to the wheel about halfway through the season and uh, had a very good second half of the season. Justifies promotion up into F2. See how he's like just on his outlap at the moment. Yeah, to, ooh, do, you, I, do you know what? I, I think that's pretty close to dry. What do you think? What do you, what do you think, uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chat? I think it's ready for dry tyres just pretty much now. It's a tiny, li tiniest little bit of spray. That is it. Of course, when the track is dry like this, it's really hard on those inters to keep those tyres cool. Once they overheat, that's it. Game over. Um. Yeah, Levios. Uh, Quadro, this is his F2 debut. Um, he came up from F3, not on merit, it has to be said. It's because uh, another driver who was already in the F2 slot couldn't race on a Friday. And, and Quadro very graciously uh, volunteered to go up into F2. Um, and so far, from what we've seen in the practice races, in terms of pace, he's actually surprised us, which is good to see. Right, Dampanel's in the pits. Yeah, we've got, oh, some, we've got some slick runners already. Got some slicks? We've got some slick runners. Uh, Jono and Hightower. Hightower's actually on an outlap. So let's have a look at Hightower. Let's see how he runs on those slick tyres. Oh, I think this is good. Up, it? It's not expected to On my screen. Oh, quite <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, did dear. I? Oh, very nearly. No, but you did. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a save. <laughs> I do want to go back into high tower, but it's just actually a hot. It is actually a hot lap he's doing at the moment, Quadjo. Oh, well, I say hot lap. It's um, a medium, mediocre lap. Who spun? A dragoon. Dragoon spun. Dragoon spun. Oh, right there. You got an able. Here we go. It's dry uh, time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't <laughs> believe a word of that. <laughs> Let's see, Quadjo. Oh, Quadjo. Oh, he's really fighting that car. Yeah, he's he's on the wrong tyre. He needs to get rid of those tyres. Yeah, man. The RS and Intermediate's just like death time. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, it's painful. <laughs> really good save. Still. He's trying to do his best impression there of, of a school of dolphin with the amount of fish tail that's going on around there. <laughs> yeah, he's in the pits. Right, let's jump on board a high tower. Truzy, great welcoming, guys. And views are stacking up there. 25 in Q3. That's what I like to believe in. Yeah, let's, make it, yeah, in. let's make it 200 and... Let's make it 250. Everyone in the chat, phone up your parents, get your mother in, get your sister in, get your brother in, get your grandma in, get your granddad in, get your great great granddad in. I don't care if he's been dead 20 years, so phone him up and get him in here. Get him watching proper racing. Phone him up. <laughs> Jesus. Holy moly. Oh dear. <laughs> Seven twenty. Mate, this is just that I mean just enough time to get back into the pits after this run. Two runs. Two runs, yeah. Just. 
I think if anybody nah, goes quick after some shrews. I'll come in, lads. Good performance from you two last night. Right, much on high tech. Oh, he's going for the left right chicane. How confident is he through here? Let's see. Ooh, lifting off. It's careful. Uh Delvar, that's that's Kakashi. Kakashi. Well done, mate. Now you, why did you why did you unfollow me? Because you were following me before. Why? He's done it to oh, multiple why? times, mate, to me as well. Um like he comes I've seen it pop, pop up a few times. Dan Pell's has done it as well. Like yeah, I don't think I unfollow, I think really? he's supposed no, to be no. a twitch. Oh I thought Oh, caught the curve on the outside of 15. Oh, that was close, yeah. It's nearly ready. No. I think Tower might have gone a little bit yes. too early, do you reckon? 32, oh, indeed. Please. Yeah, yeah, that's a... That's a oh, he's, he's next up the road. All right, it's on the <laughs> sector of Dampanels. High Tower's gone again. I think it's Dampanels, actually, is the lead car now. Sector he's 2, he's on the dry. Is he on, a, on a set of slicks. Set of slicks. The base is uh, saying good evening, lads. Uh, good evening. No, we're not using the league format because it's code masses, so it's fucking broken. I think it's time, beer. <laughs> Are we going to save it for the start of the race? <laughs> Five minute beer run. Yeah, the highlight of the week. <laughs> it's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming. As the stamp and come out of sector three. Oh, that's a nice line, that's better. That's one of the best I've seen this weekend, mate. It's good to see the of Britain. He's pushing it now. He's definitely pushing it. He feels he's, he's, he feels confident that he can plant he can plant it going through some of those high speed corners. Uh, pole time normally is around about 121. I'd say I don't think we're going to quite get that fast at the moment. Still feeling the way around the track a little bit. Low 22 I'd expect right here. High 21 is yeah, probably this is, a, this is a this is a 130. So um, yeah, they're still getting used. The times are going to come tumbling down in a bit though. They're going to come down tumbling as fast as as fast as Code Master's fucking reputation. Because they make <laughs> shit F1 games. They're a disgrace. <laughs> and I've not it's even building. started yet. It's building. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice sounding like Jono. Really, really aggressive going through it. This is comfortably first, but of course we're going to see the time tumbling down once again. Hashtag Code Masters. 127, Here we go. Uh, ben Prime in Sector 2 at the moment going for the fastest game now. Yeah, he, he, he went through flat out. Right, 20, 20, oh, 20 real quick. I think I think Ben Prime's going to kill it this lap. He went flat out for the high speed chicane. He really that's, went for it. If I can get the right car, balls to the wall, isn't it? You yeah. know what I mean? He's definitely going for it. You could tell. Oh yeah, this is uh, one twenty. I don't know, one twenty five, one twenty six. The, 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 yeah, the, the times at the moment are almost irrelevant. They're just going to get a feel for the track on this run. Get back in the pits. Get another set of slicks on, and then go for it. Yeah, there you go. Twenty six seven, comfortable. Yeah. It's just going to be who comes round last. Um, to be fair, anybody who's still in the pits currently, you know, he's going to have probably a big advantage on Steve. This is one for Shrews. R.I.P. Anstan. Hey. Or oh, rest in pieces, as the case may be. We just need our to come and give you a, a little bolster to be. Get you the extra thing. I think... Uh, uh, I think um, I, th I think each F1 driver now should have their own theme music, and I, I decided after last night, Chultz is going to be um, Elton John, Rocket Man. I think <laughs> that's a good choice. Not Times flying down there. Quite out of the moment. Sector three. Pergahontis. We could see. I don't oh, think. I think from now there, I think if people come round. I don't think they've got enough time to get back in to get back out again. We'll be on about the one minute fifty mark from now. So if you're out on track now. You know what, this is pretty much going to be your last chance. Where's Quadro coming through? Yeah, Quadro's not going to get round back in again. Uh, second fastest. Uh, unless it started raining again, that's not going to It's not going to burn enough. Right, Tomster is getting ready to come out of the pits. Mashman's uh, in the pits. He's going to set a new set of tyres on. Yeah, Super's got a really, really interesting comment, by the way. Um, in your chat. He's famous by the yeah, link. from the F1 Facebook group. I found yes. you got a link. Welcome. Tell all your friends who we are, RF1. I'm not being funny. I don't brag, but we're number one. The best racing league in the world. I don't care what platform it is, whether it's PlayStation, whether it's Xbox, whether it's like in PC, whether it's ZX Spectrum, whether it's Commodore 64, Commodore Mega, Atari. I don't care. We are the best. Fucking stake a Dreamcast. <laughs> Fuck them all. <laughs> Gather them up. We'll knock them down. Okay, I'm let's... Uh, no one's actually... Oh, I've got Quadjo's gone again now. 
Uh, yeah, he's well down at the moment, Quadro. Um, I think for Quadro, it's just it's just um, it's just timing. Found it wrong, it's isn't just, he? These, yeah, it's just just hasn't quite got the timing right in this one. Um, it's a busy exit to the pit lane. We've got Jono and Swanee both coming out. They've done it in the right time. I don't think if people don't come back out, they're not going to get back out in time here. This is really, really quite it fine. They, yeah, they've got to come out now in the next ten seconds, otherwise they're dead, 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 dead. Yellow flag sector one. I'm trying to work out the best, the best league card. Be Jono and Swanee. Well, Jono and Swanee will be the next league card. The pair of them, yep. No, <laughs> Dan is further track. down the road. Tomster's no, Tomster's going to be first out. Uh, he is in. Where is Tomster? Oh, it is. I think it is. They're in sector two. Jono and Swanee. Tomster's just next in sector Dra one. Dragoon. It's Dragoon. It's just, just starting to start finish straight. Right, jumping on board with Dragoon. Mashman is on an outlap. Oh, well, apparently this is an outlap. He's not actually on track, though. The, Bri the Bristolian. Is. Bristolian and bus driver from hell. F3 commentary guru on a Thursday yes, night. Yes, my partner. Someone said that Quadro was a good addition. Um... I agree. He won't be I think otherwise. so. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I did explain how he came into F3, uh, into F2, and and as we've seen in the first uh, couple of practice races, that he actually does have some pretty decent and surprising. He's had a surprising turn of pace. We thought he would really, really struggle yeah. in terms of pace, but he's been okay. And he hasn't been 24. lost. That's going to get 24 demolished. Has he got enough? Has he got enough to go again? That's the question. Uh, but I'm on board with Dragoon at the moment because Dra Dragoon is on a fast lap at the moment. He's not late. Two. Coming up to the high speed chicane. The left Dragoon right hand there which has killed so many people. Killed me on Dragoon Tuesday. Nicely through there. Oh bloody hell that was aggressive. Ooh. Go on Mark. Tank slapper from Dragoon there. Did you hear that? He did a bang! Uh, is he, is he, um... Tank, tank puncher wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Mashman. This is going to come to Mashman. Is he going to get round here? Three, two, one. Did he make it? The answer is no. Oh, he did by like a millisecond. He did, he did, oh, yeah. He's hell. not gone. Uh, well, here comes Dragoon. This, yeah, this is looking uh, a bit more quicker. 120, 122, six. six. Relative lap time sitting out. Okay, right. Who's next on? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Where's Swanee? Swanee's got jo Jono and Swanee. Was it Dan Pennell's? No, it's John, John and Swanee. Here we go. Swanee it's, uh, John uh, oh, I, I, I tell you what. No, he hasn't. John is right up his ass. Uh, sorry, yeah, John is right up his ass here. They're really pushing it. Really they are. I think John backed away from Where Swanee and the Thompson's overtook him. Swanee in sector three. Right, Swanee next round. Right. Dan Pennell's is further up the road than these, I think. Swanee coming around, mate. 10, oh, here comes Swanee. What can, uh, this looks considerably faster. Yes, there is a car in front of him. Is that a Ben Prox? Oh, oh, bloody Jesus hell! Jesus Christ, a Red Bull. Holy moly. What's that I'm Red Bull stand, doing then? That's that Mr. Pitts. <laughs> 20, 20, 22 0. <laughs> Jono is. All over he's, the he's back. Being held up. He's being held up by Tomster. Both is, this players, the, is this a deliberate ploy by Tomster, do you think, to just. Uh, no, I think you know, both is pretty much both of them at the time, so we've got a Ben Prime second, High Tower third, Dragoon fourth, Dan Pennell's fifth. Right, what's going to happen with Jono? And no, no, it's not good enough. Tomster's got himself up into fifth. That Mashman, is it. Where did he go? Three is over. I didn't see Mashman move up. Jono moves into fourth. Right, we're going to get some. As soon as we get the timing screens come up, I'm going to give you a quick rundown, ladies and gentlemen. Swanee, here we there go. you have it. Swanee is in pole. Uh, ben Prime second, High Tower third, Jono fourth, Tomster fifth, Dragoon sixth. Uh, Dan Pennell 7th, Mashman 8th, Anstan 9th, Quadra Honcho 10th, uh, just 7 tenths covering the top 8 there. Uh, Anstan I think got slightly caught out, and as did Quantro with their timings as to doing their ultimate fast slap. A um, couple tenths covering the first two or three drivers, it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, <laughs> woof. Yeah, of course these guys, they can, these guys can have whatever tyres they want on, of course Q2 was in... The wet, I believe, wasn't it? It was. Inter it was. Uh, did anyone come out? Did anyone come out in, uh, in, in, in slicks and Q2? I can't remember if they did. I don't think they did, did they? It was Inters all no. the way through, wasn't it? I think it um, right. stopped raining so, about two minutes in, didn't it? So everyone has got a free tyre choice. That's the state of play that we're at. It's going to make fascinating race, of course. So the formation lap now is going to be crucial for all the drivers getting their tyres and brakes up to temperature. Or, oh. if they don't, will we see carnage? Will we see death we haven't seen much blood guts 
Oh, we saw, I th- I, to be honest, I think Melbourne has seen enough deaths to last it a lifetime <laughs> over the last week in the practice races. I mean, the obituary, the obituary column in the newspaper went from like you know small print to like about a whole broadsheet. You know what I mean? It was just crazy. Uh, Catherine BWFC, welcome to Beer and Kebabs RF1 Gaming Community. Right, I'll be back in two shakes, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get a quick nicotine blast. Uh, I'm going to leave you with the dulcet tones of Mein Führer, Mr. Positively Glad. Hey guys, it's his person. <laughs> That's right, gotta be a good one. <laughs> Probably, I believe that Cradjo is going to crash, so hopefully you never know, hopefully not. Um, it was a really, really nice, a nice run at things today, ladies and gentlemen, really, really good qualifying. And we are looking to continue on Division 2, of course. First Grand Prix of the season. Um, it's always a bit of a tense affair, especially with literally eight attempts covering the top eight drivers. Three attempts covering the top four drivers. Quality, good, good quality, good times here. I believe Telfy is in the chat, I believe. <laughs> Hashtag RIP Telfy, yes, mate. Um, so, guys in the chat, predictions, podiums, what are you thinking? 35 viewers, guys, that is what we like to see. 35 people are tuned in live and in colour. And we've got another follower that is Sparky Clarky. Welcome, in. Uh, so these guys are going to be watching Thompson, of course, the Thompson fan club. So it's going to be quite nice and interesting to see how Thompson does. Um, really, really good rival of mine in the past. Um, really, really good race as well. We've had some flary battles. <laughs> but um, yeah, like for me, I'm, I'm on Sundays now, the Division 1, so that's going to be quite cool. <laughs> Thompson has no friends, hey man. Thompson, Tom, we have no friends, we have fans. <laughs> Put it that way. Uh, so we've got Kakashi. Yeah, uh, there's a few intriguing drivers uh, in this league. Obviously, you can't see what I'm seeing because I'm not streaming, but obviously, you're going to have the likes of the guy stepping up. Um, likes of Anstan. Um, Mashbun's going to be intriguing, of course. He is a new driver to the league. He's only had one RF1 Grand Prix. That was um, Abu Dhabi in season one. If I believe it was F3. <laughs> then it does. I'll be a friend with you. Kiss emoji. We've got some, some sort of way. <laughs> uh, Matt. Uh, I know you can't hear me, but go. I'll straight to him. Go. Um. Okay, mate. Right, so guys, predictions. Uh, podium predictions, what are you thinking? Uh, me, myself, personally, I'm going to be rooting. I I'm not really rooting for anyone, obviously. I'm, I'm a bit biased um, because we're doing a combined constructor. So obviously, Mirrorhead is the guy I'm looking for. 14th. Interesting to see what he can do. Like I said, a lot of new drivers. <laughs> Cookies is putting a tether on Swanny Binning about that five. Ooh, that's a shout. <laughs> Good pole position time by Swanny. They're both on the media tire at the moment. And we've got Pete Tiago going to the hearts. He did this last season in Division 2, and it nearly worked well for him. So you never know, it could work well for him again here. Of course, Dragoon Pole set up last season. Currently qualified in P6. Um, I reckon Thompson had a better qualifying than he did last season, so it's going to be interesting to see what he can do in the race. Uh, ben Prime um, is for his fourth season now, of course. That's his high tower with the RF1. And the likes of the promoter drivers, going back to what I said, Dan Bedells, uh, Amstan, Raul Dineshi at Lappin. I um, mean, he opted not to go out for the final time in Q2. Uh, Junko, welcome in, my man. Uh, superstar, we've got a lot of... You follow us here tonight at the birthday, he's about five or six already. Thank you very much, all, everybody, for following. And so, looking pretty good there, dear. Uh, you've got yourself um, and about three followers since you've been gone, pretty much. Good, good, good. Two followers. Welcome, Sparky welcome, Clarky. welcome. Come, 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 come. Uh, Sparky Clarky. Man, I'll tell you what, the old, uh, <laughs> the old ankle's feeling a bit better today. I've had a. I'm, I've just leveled up on codeine, man. <sighs> codeine out of my mind. This <laughs> feels good. Okay, let's look at the chat we've got in there. Put a Kimmy tone on for me. Oh, it's exploded the chat, I tell you. <laughs> it's been brilliant. I'm being a friend of Swanson, thanks, baby. Yeah, cookie. Cookie's put a tenner on Swanee, bidding it lap five. Um, you sound like a Dalek. Exterminate. Uh, wow, okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, Exterminate. Cookie's hope. Could be cookies hoping for a crash mad win for Alpha. Yeah, I, I concur. That is, of course, uh, otherwise, it's not the Alpha Mayo, it's being rechristened the God Car. It is the best car. Bar none. We all know it's true. Beer.tv, God spreads. It's like wildfire. 
Uh, Levios says in the chat, why do you why do you guys call Quadjo Pocahontas? Because we can. <laughs> Simple as that, really. Oh, we've got the crazy Ali Hunter. I like the name. Uh, I'm not doing that. I refuse to do that. Um, I like the name Pocahontas. I think it's uh, it's cool. It's suave. It's it's sophisticated, and it's the first thing that came to my head when I looked at his name. Because I don't like names that have more than thirty four syllables. So Pocahontas will have to do. There's a lot of uh, intrigue in the chat for the likes of Manistan, you know what I mean? Because obviously he showed a lot of pace yeah. in the preseason. It's just whether he can now transfer, translate that, obviously, as we said to Wyden, who proved himself last night. Can you, obviously, yeah, yeah. after showing good pace, can you actually prove yourself? Obviously, obviously, would have been a little bit higher. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm, just in a, I'm just in a selfie. Mm, yep, yeah, looking good. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, looking good. Right, let's wait with the go. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. The clock is ticking. Oof. It's going to be soon. It's going to be soon. Uh... Good luck, uh, Rara from uh, from Kakashi. Of course, Kakashi's uh, former teammate in F3 last season. Yes. Um, I feel my beer name, Mr. <laughs> Ralph, Mr. Chippy, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chippy. Though, of course, as as Kakashi is better, Kakashi is better known as Mr. Chippy. Cotton chips twice, please. Ralph says he prefers his. Yeah, because Robbie just sounds a bit. Mm, you know, Ralph sounds kind of cool. That sounds like a racing driver's name, Ralph. You know what I mean? It's got, like, you know, it's not Ralph. Then. It's also, uh, also Ralph. Wasn't he a character from the Muppets or something as well? I'm not, I'm not saying that you were a Muppet, of course, <laughs> Robbie, but um, <laughs> you know, but, oh man. No, don't channel your blackjack anger. I'm sorry, we don't need another big torpedo. Oh no, we, no, we're not gonna we, we don't. We, Oh man, that was uh, that, that was scary. In fact, it took me because uh, it, it all happened in front of me. I just I've renamed Charles the the blue blur, but we're starting a formation up. Um, it took me six hours to actually wipe my ass clean from all the uh, <laughs> diarrhea skiddies caused by me shitting myself. Oh, we're going, Let's mate. Let's get the telemetry we're going. running. Ooh, yes. There's formation lap, ladies and gentlemen, please. and then. It and we've is. already got a couple disqualified already. I'm standing on match map. <laughs> Not a good start. Oh, oh right, Crash Man. Oh, man. <laughs> or oh, right, Crash Man if you want to go and join them together. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got about 45 seconds before the start of the race. Predictions, please, in the chat. Or you're one, two, and three. Or just your number one. If it's number two, go and use the toilet. But there we go. Come on, it's it. Let's see some chat. Uh, pause, your prediction. Prediction? Um, fuck it, it's quite hard, you know. Uh, I'm going to go... Out there, I'm going to go for three bit. Um, I need to have a toilet trip. <laughs> I'm going to go for Swanny. If he keeps yeah. it clean, of course. Um, Pompster. I don't know what he can do. All dependent, obviously, on strategy with that, because he is on the soft. I know there's a very, very mixed bag of tricks with the strategy. The third one... It I is. Got top three on mediums. Uh, Jono and Topster are on the soft. I don't know. Um, third one. I'm going to go for I'm, Ben Prime. I love sticking neck up yeah, with Ben if he keeps it on the track. I'm, I'm going to go Ben Prime for the win if he keeps on track, but I want Mashman to win just simply because he's in. Uh, he's he's part of Team God. Oh, look, he's so taking cookies to win. Tie is showing beer and he's already done it. <laughs> go on, Cookie. Yeah. He's, he's being the guy at this lobby. Go on, Cookie. Well, mind you, know, he's not crashing off, so that's probably why. Uh, Shrew tight to win? Wow, are they good? Oh, well, he's not going to win if he drives into the back of Ben Prime like that, because no, he's just got the golf. Swan, Tomster, and King Chris, uh, Ralph's going for King Swan. Chris. Dragoon, the surprise winner, said, uh, said Kakashi. Okay, okay. He's done well so we've got some different fork. opinions here. Yeah, yeah. Dragoon has really held these guys up, by the way. Look at that. Right, let's try and get decent camera angles now, ladies and gentlemen, because I hate... The Cody's camera angles are not particularly great. Quadjo, I believe, uh, had a disqualification too from that. As did Chris. We've got a few disqualifications here on the outlap or the formation lap. Colt, though, well, they're going to be on cold tyres. Right, I'm on the uh, board of Ben Prime. Three lights, four lights. Waiting for that fifth one. It's down and it is. Sometimes like they go, 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 go in Australia. So, what he's got a good start. Ben Prime's going to try and get the inside and cover him up, though. It's side by side going to turn one. Oh, they are literally side by side. I think Swanny's got through. Just Ben Prime is challenging him. Benny, Ben's got the inside line. I wonder if Ben's going to take the lead here. Coming to turn three. 
Uh, Swally covers him off. Oh, Ben Prime really pushed by Jono quite hard there. Now, who is actually in the lead? Jono's got through. Ben Prime. There's Cyber Side through, going through. Into the turn of death. Whoa. Wow, there's Side Whoa. by Side. Oh, that, that was good driving. That was good driving. And there's a couple of force in here. Tomster comes side through. Tomster. Wow. Well, yeah, it's a dive bomb, mate. He dive bombed there. That was a dive bomb. I, ca I caught it. I'm sure I caught it. It looked like it was a, that was me a dive bomb there. And he has gone all the way back down to a last place with that. Wow. Okay. Uh, Quadra Honcho has got past the base. Hey, Captain Mark Gorilla. Just looking a bit, look at, looking a bit further down the field there. Oh, the side by side PTO. High tower. Winter 11 and 12. Just having a look at well. Yeah, high tower. Yeah, high tower's at a bad start. He's dropped down from uh, from third down to ninth. Damage beer, a lot of wing damage for tower. A lot of wing damage, but for place. Yeah. Well, I can jump on, back on board, Ooh. up front there. Swanee and Ben Prime. I want to get the... Oh, the telemetry keeps on turning itself off. I want the... Oh, I want that. Well. I want... I want the, the interval times. That's what I want. So quickly down the field. Anderson in fifth. We've got uh, Degree in sixth. Dan Pennell seventh. Pete eighth. Hightower and Honcho. Pocahontas. It's Hightower. I was not pitted. There's a, there's, a, there's a real train of cars. If Fry's have a, look, a base, have a look at the inside of uh, Honcho. Chris on the outside. No, backs out. Oh. Chris having a real look at the base here. He is, he is at the inside under under braking. Oh, but, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, we've got a, we've got, we've got a Mercedes man. So it's Quadra Honcho. Wow. Has he let them oh, all through? A top step. I think he's got very wide there. I don't think he's got much of a choice. Uh, it's kind of oh, oh it's got, we've got a car, we've got a car gone wide there. Uh, Pete, Pete, who is that? Pete, I think, as well. He went wide. Goodness me, it's been all over the place. We've got a three car train up here for fourth. Wait, ben Prime right, does Thompson's fifth. Thompson's looking at uh, Pete. Ben Prime fifth. He's, he's made mistakes. Yeah, he's made a mistake somewhere. Anstan's got to fourth place. Good show from Anstan there early on the race. How about a start? Uh, we'll have to have a look again, Cookie, because it looked like uh, John had the lead. It was the lead car. But we'll have to have a look at that again. Sure, we'll get some clips from it after, won't we? Yep. Uh, Thompson's making his way back up for the field, though. Let's go back up and have a quick run down the car. Swanee, then, is our lead driver at the moment as he starts lap three, but he's got Jono in close company. Of course, DRS is now activated. I need to turn my fan on because I'm getting hot and bothered. It's fucking roasting. Classic Mashman, fastest lap of the race, 126.005. Not up to P3, well done. Um, Mashman's in third, Anstan fourth, giving a good account Ben Prime fifth, he's got Dragoon for company. Dragoon has got DRS, but he's got Dan Pennell's right behind him. In fact, Dan Pennell's going to have a look around the outside, is he? Coming in, he Dan Pennell's move? under breaking. Oh, that's, that's a ballsy move, he's done it. Oh, he's Great done move it. Well there by Dan Pennell's. What a cracking move by Danny. Jagoom is a bit hesitant on the brakes and paid the price. High tower and a base. Is a base going to have a run at high tower? Not right now. He's got King Crystal Company and Tomster in close proximity. Up front, Jono is all over the back of Swanee. One tenth of a second between oh. one and two. We're going to stay on board of this one. I'll, I'll go back. <laughs> I'll go back. Man. <laughs> Start the Grand Prix already. He has a little and Jono is all here. over the back. Of course, Jono is, is, is on the, the faster tyre. He needs to clear Swanee, Swanee, but he's about to do it now. Go to the inside, gets the right hander, and Jono, uh, Jono is three squeezes uh, Swanee for good measure and takes the lead. Rara, three seconds, but good move there. He, he did the squeeze Swanee a bit, but that's all fair. All fair game. Oh, Didn't John, force him off the track. At the base, all of the high tyre was not better to check, mate. Um, Oh, Swanee got a, good, got a good exit there. Swanee's drafting back up the straight. Got a very good exit. Is he going to have a look under DRS? He's going to the outside. Oh. And um, John Lowe's car disappeared. He's behind him. Yeah, he's his car him. disappeared off track. Yeah, his car just like Did he lag back? Lag back. Yeah, it looked like he lagged back about a few, few car lengths. It's a mix of movies wow. for Swanee. <laughs> he got a bit yeah, easier than what he planned yeah, to do. Yeah. But like Swanee's using his Jedi powers, like, move. <laughs> That's the Force move, whatever. Channel is going to shag. Um, or yeah. a bit of fucking Force. But, of course, uh, uh, Mashman is uh, within DRS range of the pair of them. But they are so close up front, there's literally no to stern at the front. Oh, Swanee on grass! Oh, my God! Swanee's defence of the inside line. And they... they this oh, is amazing! Me, they both got through that corner. They got through that corner, side by side. side I've, by side I've never seen, seen that. that. I've and John has to be taking the lead. Oh, look, look at Mashman! 
Oh, mate, crash man. I'm sorry, I'm sticking with this, mate. I wonder what just for the I'll go back down. Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. And so, Swanee's going to have DRS. Oh, uh, he's going to draft God. him down here. You'd think, well, Swanee, have a look defensive. around the outside again. Uh, johnny has gone defensive. Oh, 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 he's running a bit wide. Swanee's going to look at the inside. This, he's going to make it the inside here. Oh. They are side by side. Wow, the Jono has just... And they're going side by side again around the last corner. Oh, no. Swanee's uh, gone deep. Mashman's right on his tail. Over his that's, going to allow to get, that's going to allow Jono to get away a little bit. That's, that's called a breather. Swanee's still, <laughs> Swanee, Swanee still got DRS, though. It's going to, so he's going to cruise back up behind him again. Of course, they've got Anstan not far behind it. Only a second behind. This, this squabbling is... is um, it's caused a bit of a console team effect. Robbo, I totally agree. Fantastic drive in there. Uh... Joe Pitts. Joe Pitts. So he's in. Okay. Has he got oh, wing damage or something? Thompson, Thompson, uh, Thompson, Thompson, Thompson's gone. Thompson's made a mistake. Made a mistake. Yep. Uh, sorry, I'm still concentrating on the top three at the moment because this is a battle for the ages. Seven tenths covering the first two cars. And Stan holding station 1.9 seconds Stan behind. Uh, ben Prime in fifth. A uh, base is about to make a move on Pete as well. Dragoon's fallen right back into Pete. Uh, Dragoon wing damage. Yeah. Left end plate. Uh, he's had an incident somewhere. Well, I'm going to drop down there real quick just to jump on board Dragoon. I'll keep a careful eye on the timing screens for the top I'll three cars. To to see anything really close. Yeah, I, I can see the, the, the timing screen. As long as they're less than point, they're more than point two, they're not nose to stern. That's the way I look at it. Oh, sorry, but they're better than slip up there. Bit of a fish tail there coming down the DR straight. Here we go. Because Jono's got to make the got to make this stint count. He's got to push and push hard. He's got to break the DRS toe and then pull away from Swanee. Yeah, that's the battle I'm on. Oh, Thompson's is gone. Yellow out. flag, Thompson's, Thompson's out. dead. Thompson's He's out. gone. 2 and 12 exit, wow. mate. The killer blow. Oh, oh. I wish they wouldn't leave the session straight away, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's just me. I'm a bit of a... Oh, Dragoon's made a mistake. He's gone wide. Oh, but he's hit. He's more There's off. contact between Dragoon and Pete. More wing off the mark. I don't think Pete felt anything there. I've got the damage. <laughs> Look, Here comes the base. The base, base is going to go for a double overtake on the outside, possibly. Right, Pete's through. Oh, oh, the base is through. Mark, oh, Chris, hit him. Mark, Mark, Chris, come, just come across oh, the front of Mark. No. Chris, come across the front of Mark. I think Mark, come right across the front of Chris. You just missed out on the middle of the base. Um, there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's, he's got that back. I think Mark <laughs> went for a sort of defence. I think he let... But I think we didn't realise Chris was uh, on the outside and we had nowhere to go. Yeah, but it, it, I, this is what I, saw. I, I, I think, yeah, I didn't catch all of it. I'd say there's probably a little bit of confusion because obviously Dragoon was letting his team make through, which is fair enough, you know. Dragoon's got damaged wing and didn't see King Chris also looking to take advantage of that little uh, bit of multi 21. So, um, oh, yeah, it's turned out to be carnage. Look at Barra. Slow and steady for a was back at it, yeah. I wouldn't say slow. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> Here he comes. Having a look around the end. Oh my good god, that's so tight on the, the past. base there. Remember America season three, yeah. of course. Or season three, fuck it, well, season two, fuck it. It's a, of course, it's a uh, Rara's, yeah, Rara's attitude would be like, I finished above you in F3, I belong in front of you, I'm going to pass you, get behind me where yeah, you belong. That's going to be Rara's mentality. Yeah. And basically be like, fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably what he actually would say as well. Uh, uh, Pete went deep. Pete went deep there. That's that's allowed a base to run right up behind Pete and might get him under DRS here. Pete ran very deep going into the penultimate corner, and a base is drafting him. This, this surely, surely is going to be uh, like candy, taking candy from a baby. Uh, base is at the inside. Pete's going to no. have. Pete, no, Pete swung around. Pete held his line. That was brave beautiful, by Pete. Beautiful driving, John O'Penley. The base is having a look at the inside again. Pete can't go defensive there now because the base has got that covered. This should be it. A base under braking. Five Pete's not going to give up. But now Rara's going to squeeze through, is he? Look, look at these guys, side for side. Oh, a bit of contact. Look at that. He's done and it. Rara's Ra through. Great wheel to wheel wasted. through. Superb stuff. Cookie has said a very, very good point in the chat, of course. I'm talking about Pete being dangerous at the end. I absolutely wholeheartedly agree. Um, well, Pete will be flying on softs at the end. Dragoon has gone on to softs. Intriguing. Yeah, man, three second penalty. Dragoon gone to softs. Yeah, softs. He'll be two stopping. He'll, he'll be two stopping then. He's two stopping then. He has to two stop. Well, I'm gonna jump back on board with the leaders. There we are, Johnny, uh, Jono, uh, four tenths up from Swanee. Uh, it's Holden Station, Mashman just in DRS range behind. And stands just dropped back a little bit, but he's not out of the picture yet. Two seconds down on Mashman, currently sat in fourth place. Uh, ben Prime, who had some kind of instant early on the race. Not sure what it was, but even in uh, Jill Goop. Didcot, sorry, Didcot. Didcot's Did in the chat. 
Hey. Hey. Even put it even though. Dracoon is just really... Should we, call it, should, should, should we call him Diddy Cock? As in Small Cock? Uh, P. Diddy. We call him that, I suppose, don't they? Uh, Swally is very close behind John. Uh, literally, uh, yeah. Quarter of, of a car length there. A couple of cigarette papers. Um, for you, those of you who don't smoke, it's about that much. Bloody hell, this is absolutely intense. Especially with the teeth as well. Doesn't really help, Maz. See, this is going to be... Surely. Yeah, so this this is going to be a bit disconcerting for Jono because um, he is now seeing his tyres starting to get a little bit worn and he's not been able to clear Swanee. He'd have been hoping once he passed Swanee to have got a gap, you know, three or four seconds. And it's not happened. No. Of course, um, Swanee will be going, I'd imagine, what, lap 16, 17, maybe 18. It's going to be a push. 17, 18. 12 if you go on well, the On to the hards, yeah. I... I would, would he risk? Would, would he go? The, that's the conservative route. Would he oh, risk know, doing mate, the one stop and going onto the softs? Really defensive then. When Swanee yeah. wasn't up his jaff, I thought that I'm surprised actually that Jono did that. He compromised his turn 13 exit. Because Swanee ended up catching right back up with him, and now we're giving himself a real chance here. Oh, he's made a mistake, Jono again. It's a little bit Jono struggled around. He had, he, had, he had struggled around that last corner. I've noticed that in a few in a few laps. Um, it's how's Swanee going to get him going to turn one? They're going side by side through Look, turn one. Oh, oh, nicely oh, 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 done. A little oh, bit of contact. I think he let him go. Swanee made let him go back through. Yeah, clean. Minute, yeah. He's going to be careful though, because Mashman's going to go for him. He's not, if he's too generous, Mashman right up behind Swanee now. And that again is allowing Anstan to just cruise on up behind him. Anstan giving a very, very good Fantastic account of himself. Uh, Robbo says soft to medium is the best strategy. It it is if you're good on your tyres. I totally agree with you. Um, yeah, for someone man. like me, he's absolutely abysmal on the tyres. Uh, I, I need to go like hard, 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 soft, soft, soft. You know, about a seven stop. <laughs> yeah. That's only in qualifying, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's just that's just Q1. Um, <laughs> uh, Jono is uh, again. I have um, stuck in limbo at the moment. I, I, the only thing I think Jono can hope to do is just try and um, create as much wear on Swanee's tyres, keep him behind him, keep Swanee stuck in that dirty air, and see if I mean, Swanee's about to make a move now. On the grass! On the grass almost. He was on the grass, but he's made the move stick. Surely this is a move. Yes, indeed, and squeezes him for good measure. Oh, oh, look at Mashman. Mashman. Mashman's going to have a look at the inside. Worth a try. It was. Oh, no. It's all gone. But you did breathe. They're gone. Oh, oh, yeah. is, and uh, Mashman's pitted. Mashman's pitting. He's had enough of those soft tyres. Oh, Hodge has lost half his car. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy moly. That's not good. Hey, something just popped up on the side of your screen. Have you got the um, stream lights working here? You have, haven't you? Very nice. Uh, Very nice. No. no, 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 no. Stream labs is not working at the moment. What was that that popped up on your screen then? I might just imagine. I'm probably imagining things. Has to pause I, I wasn't looking at anything. No, I'm not running Steam Labs tonight. I need to get that decent um, capture uh, capture card. Get that capture oh, it's, card. It's uh, super. No problem. Thanks for your company. Appreciate it. We are here to, uh, on Sunday night for uh, the Division One. So, uh, oh, yes. if you make it, it'd be nice to see. We'll have some classic racing on Sunday night. John Look at this battle from the top there, John oh, and Swanee. Oh, 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 Look at that standing. Yeah. Just all over him. He's just there, isn't he? One mistake from those who, and Anstan is going to be quizzed in for a hell of a drive here. Well, the Anstan is uh, oh, he's going to the end on the hards. Uh, Anstan's now within DRS range. These two squabbling have brought, An has brought Anstan right back into play. Johnny's going to have a look at the inside, is he? Uh, Swanee, no, nah, Swanee, Swanee cuts him. That, that's, uh, that's fair, but that was like, whew, that's what I call closing the door. Door slam. Look at Anstan, yeah. mate. This must be giving people in Division 3 Jono Pits. Uh, Jono's pitting, yeah, he's, he's getting rid of those softs. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get, mate, this is going to make people in Division 3 at the moment really, really take note because Anstan, of course, was. He improved a lot in Division 3, former Division 3 racer, guys. This just proves we're in Division 3 now, and this guy's the limit AR. I mean, these guys are here fighting. A lot of these guys are base up to fifth position because of the pit stops as well. Ben Prime 3, second penalty. He's, Ben's not really been anywhere base since he's in the collision, has he? He's just kind of almost. Faded into obscurity, Marrett and Pete Quadro's left. Unfortunately, by Quadro, he did sit around for a good couple of laps anyway, so we'll be seeing you with him around in Bahrain, of course. Good luck there. And jono has got Mashman. jono has got Mashman, and he's on the softer tyre there. He's gone for the medium, which can is, do 18 laps. Was, 
<clears throat> yeah, it's going to be uh, nip and tuck this tyre wear. He is going to be pretty bad, pretty knackered on his tyres. Oh, Williams, boys! Williams, boys! I think Ray, yeah, where was that big girl? Where was that big girl? Harris still on that soft, that is Chris. Oh, is he driving there by those guys? Dumping elves also. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Ra, that, that's a good, good tactical move there, because Ra Ra's tyres are just about dead while Pete's uh, in their midlife at the moment, so... I think Rawa's going to be probably, I'd imagine, pitting this lap all very, very soon. Brilliant. Anstan's only four tenths down at the moment. Yeah, Anstan's only four tenths down at the moment on Swanee. It's going through sector three. The new battle of the race. Swanee's had no peace. <laughs> He's had absolutely no peace this race. Anstan pits. Anstan's pitting. That's a... That's a goons the hearts. Oh, goons has gone. Such a bad race for Mark. I'd imagine oh, Rawa's going Rara's for the hearts. Rawa went a bit wide, but Rawa lost it. On, um, uh, I'm not sure. I think I he think... lost it. <coughs> uh, yeah, he's got what wing damage. damage. He's got a lot of wing damage. Um, he was probably pitting anyway, but that's now that's his strategy. Uh, pretty much sorted for the race. Yeah, yeah Anstan's coming out in the hards now. Where's Anstan going to be in relation to Mashman and Jono? Just behind. Them. Oh, he's going to be. He's going to be behind them. He's Same coming out. He's coming out alongside Mashman. Oh, yeah, oh, that's close. Him. That's close. That's a fantastic out in lap for him. It's, it's almost as you were. King Chris is still going on the soft tyres. 12th lap. <laughs> oh, that left tyre's fit the best. Look, look, look at the TV oh, 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 pod oh, on Chris. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, Jono on King Chris. Yeah, John is, King Chris is letting him through, I'd say, there, probably. He's not racing these guys. You'll see a bit of jitters, guys, of course, on Chris's connection. He's in Australia, but to be fair, it's not that bad. I've seen much worse British connections recently. <laughs> so, he's not doing that bad. Yeah, la. <laughs> Last night. Mashman having a go on the outside. Oh dear. Yeah, Chris, Chris, oh, Chris is getting Chris out of the way. Of, no, yeah, I think he was letting them through, but he's he's suffered wing damage. Uh, right front end plate's gone flying off. I can see him, but I think he possibly should have waited a bit for that. He's done himself. Anstan all over the back there. of Mashman. Look at this. Anstan ghosting Mashman. This is surely going to be a move. He is so close behind him. He goes to the outside. Mashman defensive on the inside. Is it coming through the Is that saying? Oh, and, and, and there's con contact. Uh, there's contact there, but I think that was fair. I think that I was think fair. Anstan, Anstan pretty much was the car in front there, so I don't have any issue with that himself, Poz. I think it was, it was rough, but no, it was no fair. No, whatsoever. No, whatsoever. Great move. Ben Prime Anstan. in the pits. Gutsy. Ballsy. A base up into second place. Yet to stop a course, but that will give him confidence seeing him jump so far up. King Chris in the pits. Comes out on. I'm not sure what he comes out on, actually. Um, uh, something. <laughs> he's still in the pits. Um, mediums. Mediums. Yes. Oh, that was a battle there. Was that um, Anstan and Mashman still going out? Of course, Mashman beat both these cars on the hard tyres, so this is actually four track position. Anstan has actually overtaken Mashman. Anstan, a net podium finish here for Anstan in his F2 Division 2 debut. Incredible. Brilliant stuff by Amstan so far. I'm going to go the other course, five and a half distance. Anything that can happen in Formula One, and it generally does. And it just bleeds. Has... a well known cliche. Yes, but one of the most famous cliches ever in history, used forever. Uh, I wonder how far Swanee's going to go. Is Swanee going to go for the one stop, from the mediums onto the softs? He's got it now, hasn't he? He's literally got it. He's on that 13. If you go hard, it's. Just... You've just got to go for uh, it. If he goes, if he goes hard, he's going to come out around. Well, pretty much with Anstan and Mashman, with allowing 20 seconds for a pit stop. Um, Juku says Mashman needs to calm down. I wouldn't really no, say so. No, no, it's fine. That that was perfectly legit, mate. Possibly on the King Chris move, it, but you know he, ha he was going to get past anyway. Possibly, potentially, maybe. No, I, 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 th I think I think Chris was letting them pass, mate. I really do. Not doing himself any favours, regardless. <laughs> He's currently running on like well, Jono, yeah, Jono's about to pass Pete. This is not. This was obviously for position, well, not for position, but Pete has yet to stop. You had three seconds. We've not seen you had once this race. Um, I did it back in. And this is going to allow uh, uh, Jono needs to clear Pete pretty damn quickly. Otherwise, this is going to allow Anstan to cruise and Mashman to cruise back up again. More and Pete screws him up with Swanee as well, isn't it? Right here comes here comes John up the inside. I think he's going to get the move done under braking, unless Famously Pete's really, really brave. Go. Good move by John. Good move, that stands yeah. on the way now. Yeah, Pete gave, him, uh, Pete gave him plenty of space there, to be fair. Yeah, good clean, fair racing. We've seen some really top racing here today. 
this has been an exceptional kind of showing from FM Division 2, guys. Uh, I think, uh, we're, well, obviously, we've brought in the Austrian stewards. Um, we're starting to hand out penalties like confetti here. Or, should I say, the French stewards or Canadian stewards, or just general F1 stewards. <laughs> it's me and Mark have made it. Swanee's pitted. He's going for the hards. Curious. No, he's oh, gone for the dude. softs. He can't do 15 laps no of the way, softs. Mate. No, no way. way, He's made a balls up there. Surely. They ain't doing that. Swanee just thrown this race. Do you? Well, yeah, Johnny's Johnny's Johnny has gone through. And Anstan's got through. And Mashman's there. I, do you know what? I think he's done it because he, uh, it, it, it almost sounds like a panic because he's lost so much. He was losing pace on those mediums. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a panic move that he's done. Um, he he'd have been better tight. suited. Yeah, he'd have been better suited to come out in the hard. I mean, yeah, he's going to be quick for a while, but I mean, 14? It's right on the he edge of possibility, I'd say. No, that's, that's half a race. Yeah, and of course, well, just under because they, they are. Well, they? Yeah, they are. They, they, oh, it's just. Yeah, interesting. An interesting call. He makes us work here. I'm going to take notes. You, you, you tend to think though, that Jono is race favourite now because he's on the medium tyre. Um, he can hopefully he'll be looking to pull away from Anstan. I mean, Anstan's tyres will come back to him as they will with Mashman, particularly Anstan though. But uh, um, I think I'm going to keep an eye on the timing screens. It's all. It'll, I think if Jono can get up to five seconds ahead of uh, Anstan. I think that'll win in the race. Should, yeah. Realistically, yes. Anstan. Swanee, Swanee and Anstan. See, Swanee's all over the back of Anstan. He's got to clear him. He needs to he clear him on the start finish straight. But he is so much. He's got so much more grip, as you can see there. He's got to be careful. Oh, he's, the back of him. he's got that. Head spot. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, me head spot. That's all right. Right, here comes no. Swanee. He needs to get... Anstan's gone defensive to the inside of the track. Swanee's going to have to go the long way around if he's going to do it, which he's. Anstan! Whoa! Well, you, yo, yo, okay, yeah, I, I know what you were doing. You are in time to do that, but it was very late. Oh, a bit late then, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> mimic. The th th thing is, to be fair, you do see, oh, was, they, they've made contact there. Uh, Swanny Anstan's not giving us up without a fight. This could be carnage if you're not careful. Incredible driving. Swanny's done it, Swanny's done it. What a great move. Anstan's not giving up yet. Anstan's not giving it up. What a bit of driving by both guys. Awesome. I thought, mate, I did that one awesome. risky. It's a holy fucking motley tied behind the sofa to be Yeah, grabbed. yeah, yeah. That's pretty um, I mean, I, 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 would be on, I would be on my feet right now with uh, but it's the codeine, guys. I'm, I'm feeling pretty chill and relaxed, to be fair. I must admit. <laughs> but don't worry, Code Masters, I've not forgotten about you. Oh, um, we just have another chance. <laughs> we have another chance. Yeah, going, got Sunday up here. Going back, going back to the start, start finish straight when Anstan made a late defensive move. That, that to me was legit because you see yeah. in in the real life Grand Prix, you do see them doing that. As long as it's not actually in the breaking window, that, that's fine. You can move across the track. I've got no, I don't see a problem with that. It looked worse, it looked far worse than it really was. If you know what I mean, I. Yeah, they I, gave I, I think that's, I think that's okay. On the track, he's like putting them in the wall, mate. They give both keep as good as they got. They both give us a yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, they're, they're wheel banging there. Yeah, that was pretty. Swanee, uh, I think turned in a little bit too early. I think you're right in saying that. Um... On a lap, on a lap down. Not a good race for Rara. Not, no, not good to uh, swap wings. We've got another battle here, mate. P6, P6, high power and Ben Prime. Here we go, Red, uh, Red Bull versus right Alpha. Nice and easy, Ben Prime. And high was on 13. On Alpha, of course. Yeah, he needs to, uh, he's going to drop out. The, he will drop. From, he will be battling Pete, I think, when he comes out. I like the debate in the chat. Yeah, we've got a good old, good fashion debate, haven't we? Literally here. Some guys saying it's good. Some guys saying it's too aggressive. I mean, everybody else, if you want to get involved, do it. I mean, obviously that's what the chat's open for you guys for. Give your thoughts. Give me ten cents. Not winning. That sounds fell back here. You see, you see, I, I do, I do like the debate, but I, the, the actual debate closer would be if F1 patched this, Cody's patched this game, and they allowed the, the, the and they allow and they allowed the actual introduction of sticky bombs. So when you're passing <laughs> the car, you can just chuck a sticky bomb on the car. Bang! Fireball. That'd be the way to go. It's one uh, of them. Ashman is, that, is closing up behind Ashman. Now this is this is a battle I, I I've been itching to watch if it can be. If it, yeah, these if it two. can become a side by side battle, and stand R.I.P. and Crash Man, that's the battle I want to see. 
Or is it going to be RIP crash on the pair of them both DNF? Which will obviously give Ben Prime a nice full position at that rate and third potentially because the Swan being quite far back. But here we go then. Close battle on track, of course. Are oh, those two guys now? It has calmed down a lot from an absolutely crazy mental start at the beginning. Now, uh, yeah, I was saying about the battle, uh, John Owen potentially and Stan later on in the race. John O's got the gap up to three, four point two seconds between himself and and So at the moment, um, and Stan, uh, John is doing what he needs to be doing. Yep. IV, good evening. Welcome to the chat. That's a clip. There's off. You guys have a look back up. Welcome to Mashman, Mashman's uh, get, he's got his tyres sorted now. He's just half a second behind uh, Anstan, looking to uh, put some Anstan under some serious pressure. Even quite literally just analysing this, just watching this. It's all I'm watching as a fan almost. Yeah, Cookie, were a great point. Um, that's what I personally would have probably done. I like how nobody's actually calling people out though. That's a good thing there, isn't it? Obviously we're. We're adults, you know, it's just the way it is. It's the way mm. our F1 get our business done. A lot of other people tell people to shush. <laughs> Not us. Get your ass in the comments. <laughs> Keep this lit. Yes, Personally, I mean, I, I'm not not, not that I'm sounding controversial, but if I if if I'd been Anstan, I'd have been like, oh, you get, I'd put I'd have put the cut in the wall and said, fuck off. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> okay, you know. Um, well, you mean if you Anstan last season? <laughs> no, I'm just saying what I'll do. I, I will put them in the wall and then block them, then bl and then block them from the face from my like Xbox profile, so they're so they going to have a go. <laughs> and, then, and then when they're about to leave the wall, just park your car at a sort of 45 degree perpendicular angle and just fucking stop it moving full stop until they get disqualified. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mashman's made a mistake. Mashman made a mistake. He went deep there. He did. That's allowed a car, it's a lap car to cruise up behind. Yeah, it looks like a lap car. Oh, yeah, Rara. Rara. Not a good race, man. I feel for him. Division three champ. He doesn't like this track though. I know he doesn't like this track. He's, 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 he's gone. He, no, he's gone from Division Three champ to Division Two champ at the moment. Right? Oh, no. he's had, he's had <laughs> an awful race. Let's hope he can. Uh, let's hope he can pull something out of the bag here and in the final uh, it, final third of the race. Great drive he's still going. He, yeah, yeah, he's go, going for the softs, isn't he? He'll be, he'll be ultra quick at the end. He's going to drop down to ninth, I think. But he he might get some overtaking done. Now here comes John, about to take the lead. A base. As can Jono get through there? Jono's really? going to have to back off patience, a little bit. Patience, John... patience, patience. Yeah, that's allowed. Just want to take the lead. Yeah. Oh now, dear. Again, con controversy. I'm I'm with the base on that. He is perfectly entitled Absolutely. to be there. He is perfectly entitled. You know, some people might say, you know, it's the form thing would be to let the car guys not racing him. But I'm sorry. If you're not, the way I look at it, the way I look at it, if you're not being blue flagged, you're perfectly entitled to race somebody. That's of course. Look at it. The base had the racing line, mate. I but he dropped a little bit of space too. It wasn't like he yeah. just shut the door on him. But in, in saying that, I can understand why people might say he's not racing him, just let him through. But they're not teammates. If they were teammates, was, definitely, you know, get it, get out of the way, sort of thing. Like, you know what I mean? It was a bit different yeah. from the um, Anstan Swanee kill incident because obviously they were racing together, but on they were racing. Title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a base, he's perfectly fine, mate, to do that. There's absolutely uh, yeah, no I, problem I, I whatsoever. I think so. I, th I think so. I think. Um, uh, it was a bit of a lunge, almost. It, it looked like a bit of a lunge there from Jono. Uh, just perhaps sli slightly mistimed, you know. Um, yeah, they, you know, they, they could have been a, they could have been a better spot, maybe. Uh, good evening, Ash. Like to the party, Ash. Yeah, Cookie yeah, I agree, completely agree. agrees with the shit. Yeah, completely agrees with it. So we move on to the next topic of conversation. <laughs> What's next? Who's going to do something now to keep the chat going? Uh, John with a three second penalty, there you go. I'll talk about that one. Ben Prime is wrong. Mate, a lot of people are getting caught out by, t by turn 12. The second half of the chicane, a lot of people are getting really, really caught mm. out there. And Anstan is cleared of Mashman now. And I was going to say Ben Prime's battling, but Rara's just literally killing mine at the moment. Rara hoping for a miracle. Hope not a safety car. That doesn't classify as a Rara miracle here. He'll just get stuck in the back. Yeah. Jono is recovering. Um, he's down to. I think Swanee's already. Swanee's tyres are past the best. He's been pushing so hard. He's got to do another eight laps on these yet. If he pits, be up down to one point two seconds. It'll have to be now if he wants to pit, unless he's going for that fastest lap. Um, if he pitted now, high tower's pitted. By the way, he would come out in sixth place if 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 Swanee pitted now and puts another set of softs on. He'll be battling with a base, won't he? It'll be him and a base. I think possibly with the base he's catching. He'll be, be battling Dan Pennells. Yeah, it's Harley said. Just in front of Dan Pennells, actually. Agreed, Tyler. Um, the guys are just... Mate, I love how... 
these guys just they know racing don't they bear we've got probably some of the most not only the best drivers it's not only the best fucking place to watch humble brag but <laughs> but um you know it is we have some of the most knowledgeable guys here too we do it's just yeah, the drop way it down is. to uh, yeah i'm just gonna drop down sorry onto, onto base because he's uh, cruising behind dan Pennell's three tent stands uh, on hard so base is on pretty much brand spanking new soft you'd expect because these two were rivals in f3 last season so i don't expect dan to give any quarter here but would think if a base gets a chance he will pass him at some stage might not be this lap but it'll certainly be the next lap depends what exit a base gets out of here he's dan got a pretty good exit out of there to be fair a base is uh got the drs open he is closing up behind he's having a look at the inside but he's gonna have to back off there yep just made sure the uh, the wing mirrors were full of uh, red blob i mean, the, the, the chat is going crazy <laughs> so I said I want to yeah, I'm just. Um, <laughs> we know yeah, I said, yeah. I was, right, here comes a base. Uh, base is now going to have a good run at Dan Pennell's here. Sure Pulled out a bit early, but he should get he should get this move done before turn one. Oh, C Cody's, give me a camera angle I can work with, please. There we go. Yeah, he's safely through. I have a little look there. Did you see that? He had a little sneaky look up the inside. Yeah, so yeah. It's not pulling away by enough. No, he's got a. Um, have you seen the chart here? Robos is outstanding for the win, and you know what? That is a hell of a shout. That is a hell of a well, he's shout. Now with it. Yeah, 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 well, I said about Anson earlier on, didn't I? With, did. uh, the fact that uh, Jono had to pull five seconds on him, and he, he he pulled four and then started dropping back again. His tyres are starting to hurt. That's just good because the tyres, both tyres, oh, yeah, I imagine both will. Uh, yellow flag, sector two. I think that's a lap car, I'd imagine. Can't say, no one's disappeared off the time screens. Uh, yeah, rather being lapped. Oh, Rara. He's come back strongly by right. Look at this. Oh, uh, Anstan is. Oh, that's cost him a second and a half there. That's. Uh... Oh, that could be crucial. Light breaking. Better yeah, light breaking. That could be 15. crucial. Yeah, it's cost him just under a second. Giving John just a little bit of breathing space. Uh, Mashman can't be counted out of this uh, yet. And neither can Ben Prime for that matter either. Ben Prime's only five seconds behind Anstan. Uh, six seconds behind Anstan. Still with uh, six laps to go, including the lap, uh, in the lap they're on. High towers on uh, fast tyres at the moment. Uh, in ninth place. Still, yeah. Not yet. No, he's too far back, he's mate. Too he's far too back, far back. He may he's be able to have a chance at M Prime, maybe. That's probably as far no, back as he can get. 13 seconds, mate, in six laps. And his it, it, base's tyres will be knackered at the end. I That's think, barring. Point. Incidents. I think he'll he'll set. It, I think he will set for six there. To be fair, that's a pretty pretty solid drive. In all that's honest. Qualifying woes. Bishop across in the chat as well. Anstan. Yeah, um, great comment by Bish. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen yeah. Anstan for the win. He has kind of come along a long way. Well, I mean, yeah, he killed all of us in F3 quite literally. So, <laughs> yeah, he had that's no run. Really he was in the promotion relegation in the, in the promotion relegation fight. He actually shot someone in the face. Um, I, I think he literally killed what I've been He's scarred my life. Look, I, I, he's I think he, yeah, he has come along because I, I don't think he was actually top five, was he, in 2003 oh. last season? Um, and since he's made the move onto the wheel, we've noticed a real change. And uh, what's 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 better is the fact that he's got his racecraft together because he was a bit of a mobile chicane. I think he, he knows that. Here we um, go. For the first, for two thirds of last season, but this season he's improved. Here, here Jono comes the move. Is he going to make the move now? Jono and Swanee. Jono takes the lead. Swanee's oh, way too it. deep. Way too deep. Which is oh, he's done. Oh, what oh, he was done? Way, way too, way too deep, mate. Way too deep. Wow. Speed. Take a note from Jackie Collar, unfortunately. <laughs> if anyone obviously can spot that little, that little resemblance, which has now put Anstan in that position to take the lead. He literally now just needs, well, it's one of his I don't know how he's going to get them to the end. This is a real eye opener for those of you who want to run softs too late. He's going to run it, pit it back two laps too early, imagine. Two laps too early, at the very least. Here comes Anstan in there. Oh, this is a key moment in yeah. this Grand Prix. He, he, just, he just needs to, Anstan just needs to pick his spot, I think. Whether it's here, whether it's the next lap, just just pick his spot. Take your time. This could be it now. I think he's gonna he's gonna make a move for it now. Give me a decent camera angle. There's contact. And he's, 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 he's in the wall. It. He didn't need to do that. Oh, John. oh, 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 oh ooh, almost almost clutched the Red Bull. Again, again. Oh, oh, he can't. No, that's uh, pause. Don't do pause. That. That's a penalty. 
That's a slam dunk penalty. Do that, that, you can't go do that. first right into a car. No, Jesus that's a penalty. Christ, I don't... Ghosted. I'm, co I'm calling that now, because if you hadn't ghosted, mate, you'd have collected that car. I'll send that over. That, that wouldn't have been... It's on the stream. The it's, it's live on the stream, mate. Yeah. Obviously, we don't give the pens, can't. but Jesus Christ, you can't be doing that shit. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. And he's, and, 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 he's, and he's lost half his wing for good measure. That was a uh, hero to zero. To, what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? Didn't need to make that move. He had the perfect opportunity just to wait. <clears throat> All the that, interest, Interesting enough, that has bought... Uh, that has that that has that has brought um, uh, the man from the God Car back into play. Cra the classic Mash Man. He's right in there now. Mash Man may be able to get his thing. He's in the mix. Ben Prime is only four Not seconds off the lead with four laps to go. That's the what the hell? That's the Lewis just both went off. What in the living hell went on there? I missed the start of that. You're both off. In oh, that's the what are you doing? Head shaking. Head shaking moment. Well, it, it, well, he lost his wing. He should have pitted. He had to pit because he's, he's yeah. not, you know, the stewards would say, if you're running around with a knackered wing, you have to pit or risk getting black flagged. Surely. That's, yeah, he's hit the wall again, and that's the rest of his wing just come off. What is he doing? Ah, he's, um... Head shaking a bit. Oh, wait, yeah, I've got, got, got my head, he's, head in my hands. He's in a, no, he's in a bad place right now, obviously. It's a shame. It's a real shame. He's in a bad place right now. What uh, point been. Just, yeah, if you can get into the pits, stick a new ring on, he will come out in 10th place. There's still points there. And ultra-fast tyres as well. But uh, we're going to have to um, leave these guys. Look at that, Ben Prime and Classic Mash Man. This is a battle now. Just two seconds covering the top four cars. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a race for the oh, win. Oh, yes. John Look at this. Oh, my goodness me. John is in front of Spano. But... John has got to push real hard now because he has got Mashman and Ben Prime all over him like a bloody rash now. No, so these tyres are dead. They've gone. He They've lost gone. it at turn They've 13, gone. mate. He hit the wall at turn 13, lost half his ring. He had three corners to pick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it happened before. Uh, and then, then, then we burst into Ra Ra. <laughs> Look at Mashman. That's a brilliant switch. But because because Mashman is going to he's going to make this move done. Patience, oh, it's one Swanee and Mashman. Another. Ah, come on. Guys, come on, on seriously. Mayo. It's Pick not your spots, and it's and just silly. <laughs> <coughs> Who's going to win this fucking race, mate? Because everyone's fucking hitting the back of the cars. <laughs> well, 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 John knows now, so thank you very much. You yeah, guys are just going to win the I'm race win. Look at Ben Prime all Prime. of a sudden. Ben Prime will back a Swanee. Swanee and he's gone around the, the outside. This... Swanee, 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 and Sw Oh. <laughs> you laugh or you'll cry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously, look at the camera angle for beer. Yeah, <laughs> the official expression there. You don't need no words. <laughs> no words. I don't feel like but there's to. a winner. There's a winner out of all this, and it is a pace has moved up to fourth. Fourth place. Hey, beer. What did I tell you? What did you get? No, you, yeah, but, yeah, but you. Were, no, no, no. no I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call you on this because Damn you were on about him catching him. Yeah, yeah I mean, said he'll only get that. He'll only get further if he gets uh, if there's crashes, which have been. Damn. Mate, how you tell us at the fifth? Oh, fuck, that's Alfred, mate. We'll never hear the end of this on fucking Sunday stream, will we? Crap. Alpha, come on, Jesus team Alfred. Christ. Well, we've got Alfred. Um, this is for Robbo and Cookie. We've got Alphas in third and fifth. Great points for the... Sorry I let you guys down, by the way, last night. Well, it, it was the Cody's game, did. But um, I'm sure you'll get two podiums tomorrow night. But team Alpha, big points. Richard Bishop finished fourth last night, of course. Oh, it was great. Um, cookie, zero to, hit zero to 100 very quickly. And that's the way in RF1, Cookie. You know the rules. Dan Pennell's in sixth place. Ben, oh. In sixth place, yeah. Uh, Dan, Dan might get caught and passed by Pete, though. I'm going to keep an eye on that battle. Um, ben Prime is catching Jono. Don't know if he's going to catch him enough. Nuts. That was six tenths in a corner. Yeah. Uh, Rick M Racing, welcome to RF1 Beer and Kebabs Game Community. Thank you for watching. Fantastic race this has been. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, which, which is right. Just get your head down and stand finish the race. Um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Cookie, please. the volume just got turned right up. Yeah, it's 2.4 seconds. Ben Prime is catching John at a rate of knots. Oh, man, Mashman's in third. He is, yeah, I'd say he's clear of a base in fourth. I don't know what the penalty, penalty situation is. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't, nope. we, we don't do any spoilers. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a policy pause and I have had for quite some time on streaming. Yes. Uh, proud. Pete is now within 1.3 seconds of Dan Pennell's. Repeating, by the way, mate, mediums. I don't know if he's going for the fastest lap, he can't get it. He's not in the top 10. Unless he's relying on two more people blowing up. 
Yeah, and there's still one and a half, well, one and two thirds laps to go. They're only just starting sector two at the moment, so Ben Prime is really pushing at the moment. Mashman is, um, I think he's going to be, looks like he's going to be settled with for, for third place now. 4.2. And Stang is fastest lap in the race so far, 123.5. <laughs> Um, Anstan might catch King Chris on the last lap, possibly. King's are, uh, Chris is on pretty pretty warm mediums. Sonic like pointing out the combined constructors make Toro a two for two as it stands. Still a long bit to go. Oh, John, a little bit loose there. 1.8 oh, seconds, the gap between first and second. We're about to start the last lap. Down, it's, isn't it? it's, a, it's a bit too far Look behind as it stands at the moment. Beer. Ben Prime's got eighty percent battery. He's been saving it the entire yeah. race for this moment. John, John o, John O's got fourteen percent. He's going to have to run ERS mode two or one pretty much all the lap, isn't he? Rough, maybe really one point, point as four, well. one point three. Even if you're not in the top ten, you can take the extra points away from someone. I didn't think of that. That's a very, very good point, there, Rough. So definitely keep it. Uh, yeah, Pete's all over the back of Dampenels. But ladies and gentlemen, we have just come to the end of sector one. The gap is now less than a second between John O and Ben Prime. Move. He gets the move Pete's done. got it. Be safe. Yeah, no still right yeah. Nice stuff by Pete. Right. New ahead, three second penalty. Look at the Four tenths for a second. John, John O's tyres have gone. No they are absolutely on, dead. Ben Prime. I did, did I call Ben Prime for the win? I did, didn't I? Uh, no. I think it was Mashman you said, it, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Oh, I changed my mind. I'm sure I could have sworn I said Ben Prime. Switch your pick, switch your pick, switch your pick. <laughs> yeah, Come yeah. Uh, Rara. Nah. Yeah, we'll go Rara. Rara we'll go ben the Prime. Yeah, it's about, no, it's it's about four corners ago. Ben's having a look around the outside. John goes defensive on the inside. John's trying to make it hard to do that. Yeah. Will Ben switch back on the inside? It's, it's Three pretty corners pretty much to go. Now or never. Don't do a void. No one else does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Uh, Ben's, Ben's got a good exit, but I, I think Jono might look just. This is so, so close. I think Jono's going to really just hold him off. Look at oh, that. Jono just held him off. Jono, Jono won the race. Unbelievable. Eight, eight one hundredths of a second. Incredible. Jono, that is one hell of a finish. Lewis podium. Wow, 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 wow. He got a penalty. Oh, Mashman had some penalties. Okay. Unbelievable. Hightower finishes fifth. Good drive there by Hightower side drive. Fourth and fifth, the Alphas. Uh, Pete, does Pete get six on penalty cap? But look at that. Uh, uh, Swanee and Dan Pennells. Uh, is it Rara? Unlapping himself. Swanee okay. and Anstan. Okay. They were battling for the lead. It's six laps to go. They finish eighth and ninth. Yeah, oh, disaster, disaster. Is it eighth and ninth, though? Because we've still got uh, penalty yes, cap back. Yes, yeah, what's King Chris going to do? King Chris has jumped handstand. Yeah, King Chris oh, jumped dear. in. Oh, dear. Wow. So, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Jono takes the win. Ben Prime second, a base third, Mashman fourth, Hightower fifth, PTR, Pete sixth. Dan Pennell, 7th, Swanee, 8th, King Chris, 9th, and Anstan, 10th. Those are your points finishers. Uh, also classified, uh, view ahead in 11th, and Ra Ra uh, lap down in 12th. That was an amazing end. Oh, I say what, the first half of the race, the, the first half of the race contained some good battles, but it was it, it, it reminded me the first half of the race in many ways of, a, of, an, of an, uh, an elite race where they're nip and tuck, but not a lot of positions are actually changing. Yeah, they're all nip and tuck. It was just then in the second half of the race, particularly the last eight or nine laps, basically it was Armageddon in Australia. Guys, look at look at look at the stream title. It could not be a better stream title. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky Ben Prime. What a race. Man. What a race. He lost by under a tenth of a second. <laughs> Jesus. Eight John one hundred on. of a second. Incredible. Wow, 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 wow. Some questionable moments here, obviously, but what I'll do, mate, I'll go and bring the lucky three in. Not lucky three, the deserted three. Um, so, like the party. Jono, Ben Pryor, and a base. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was a absolutely cracking race. I tell you what, that pretty much had it all. Uh, some fantastic overtakes, some dubious uh, overtake attempts, and uh, some absolutely unbelievable wheel to wheel action 
And we're just bringing in the podium for this. We are actually going to do a bit of an interview. Now, I might be a bit you rusty because I've not done an interview for ages. The only person I normally interview is myself, uh, to be quite honest. But we've got the guys coming into the party now. Um, Everybody get your audios so, included as well, if you can. We've got Jono, yeah, we've we got Bass, and we've got Ben Prime. Right, first of all, the race winner. Um, most people sort of win races by a few seconds, you know, or or maybe, if it's the close one, uh, a few car lengths. But Jono actually won the race tonight by the width, the width of a Rizzler cigarette paper. That's how close it was. Jono, congratulations. Talk to me. Good one. Um, interesting race. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very interesting race. Um, from the off, I was battling with Swanee, which I found a lot of fun. Just a bit of a throwback to the last few times I was racing with him in the previous game. Um, it's a shame for him because his engineer called him the wrong strategy. Otherwise, he probably would have been up there at the end. But um, no, it was a lot of good, good action through. I didn't know I was going to win it. Um, I had faith at one point and then I got caught up in an incident at one point when my front wing got damaged and then the hard tyres were just creeping up because they all started to gain pace on me. Uh, yeah, so I luckily, luckily just made it, just by the skin of a, of a Rizzler paper, as you said. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you took advantage also of a little, uh, a couple of uh, incidents towards the end there. Um, people yeah. jockeying for the lead just, just in front of you, making mistakes, but the thing is, that's not your problem. <laughs> what you do is you just keep that car on the track, and if you cross the finishing line first, you get 25 points, which, funnily enough, you did. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just good to be back racing with you boys again after being out for a while. And try to make as many as I can. Enjoy the battles along the way. Emphatic, an emphatic return. I mean, uh, what, are your, what were your thoughts on the, on the last lap? Obviously, you saw Ben... Um, cruising up behind you at quite a rate of knots were you, were you confident even going to the last corner you could hold him off yes once i got to the after the the last little bit of a straight into the third sector i just was i didn't think he was going to pass me um mm. so i was very very confident up to that point but then when i saw him get very close at the end and i had a bad exit it was uh yeah just luckily lucky to see the checkered flag and me on p1 well the actual gap was eight Eight one hundredth of a second. That's how close it was. I bet it was that was like, uh, uh, some, cent- some great viewing for you boys. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. sensational! It was like center of Mansellesque. It was that close. But uh, congratulations to me. I'm just going to hand Thanks you over to, uh, to Pause now. No, nice one, mate. Nice one. Uh, uh, Pause. Uh, if you'd like to, anything you'd like to uh, to add. Never thought I'd be interviewing you again, mate. After the old league. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, really, really good drive, mate. Um, battling up and down the field. And there was a couple of moves, which were obviously a little bit of a thing. Talk us about a couple of things, mate. Obviously, you, yourself and Swan. I got yourself involved in a little bit of almost a race on battle, you two. Um, bit of a rollback. Yeah. Talk me through, mate, about the ant stand incident. It was about well, incident. It was a battle. Stunning driving by the area. I believe it was yourself. It's even your story, but I know you guys had a, yourselves a little bit of a run in as well. Talk us through, mate, the battles that you had. And what um, you say would be the best one you had all race, in your opinion. I'd actually, to be honest, you thoroughly enjoyed battling Swanee throughout. And to be honest with you, I couldn't really put, pinpoint a, a highlight. Um, it was just good fun. Like, we were in the party together. Um, making sure we leave, left each other enough room there racing and that's what you come and race for that's the reason why you're in the league so I thoroughly enjoyed it and I generally think on uh, on, a, on a better day he probably would have won the race that's pretty good to know mate and what are your thoughts for Bahrain next week of course coming with 25 points leading the championship division 2 championship what are um, your confident because I prefer that track over this one but let's see I've got to put some practice in I didn't really put too much in this time round so let's see what I can do I'd say mate congratulations for myself now back to beer thanks brother Oh, yeah, well done. I'm going to bring in uh, the second place man, uh, Ben Prime. Uh, I, I think it's fair to say if you were either like about four inches wider or four inches taller, you'd have won that race at the end there. What a, what a, what a fucking... Oh, what, a, what an epic uh, epic driver the last few laps, mate. We were absolutely motoring. Um, oh, oh, are we going to have to... Are we going to have to have a, an after-race stewards drug test or something? Because you were on something those last few laps. You were flying, man. But uh, anyway, talk us through it.
Ben, Ben, include your audio, mate. Ben, 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 go, go to party, include your audio. audio. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've got adrenaline Start pulsing again, through me, you won't believe. <laughs> well, hang on right. a minute. Uh, RF1, F2, after race interview, take two. <laughs> <laughs> As you were saying. <laughs> Bloody dick. Yeah. Uh, no, I caught a mashed man hand over fist lap by lap. <laughs> And he caught up to Swanee, and Swanee was struggling Sorry, on his Mike. tires. Swanee struggled on his tires. Yeah. Uh, and I thought I'll just ease off and let them go. And at the very next corner, they had contact, and I, I luckily managed to get round uh, Mashman, and I followed Swanee. And then I don't, I don't know if I passed him clean. I didn't feel any contact or anything, or if it was just his tires were that bad, he spun round. I didn't yeah, feel anything. I might have hit him. Bad. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm not sure if his tyre's gone or if I hit him. I didn't feel anything. Yeah, he was on um, uh, soft tyres with double figure laps behind them. Uh, it was hard ah. to tell on the screen because you were side by side. But yeah, he spent. He, he basically went uh, the same place as Anstan. Um, yeah, I feel for him because he was having I, a good I race. Tell, yeah. I feel for him. He was having yeah. a good race, but I think at the same time, if your tyres are gone, he's ended up a hazard. To be honest. Yeah, that was his yeah. I think it's one. one. Yeah, yeah, I think John was saying. That, that's why I mean it's always a little tip there for for for, for guys is to uh, on on your in lap when you come into the pits just just have a quick flick of the B button just make sure you're on the right tyres that's probably yeah. the watchword going yeah. forwards I think definitely yeah well, I okay I'm going to have Stan as my teammate he was excellent having him in a party with me excellent looking forward to the season with him all right well that's good to hear man uh, look good luck next week you obviously got Bahrain different track different discipline but. Uh, I'm sure you'd be well up for it. 18 points in the bag. Nicely done. I'm going to pass you over to Pos real quick. Surreal, Benny boy. Uh, <laughs> usually we're in part eight yeah. during the race, not after it, but... No, I know, it's um, weird. Talk us through, Ben, the start of your race, please, mate, because obviously you had a really, really good start. Um, what was the incident you were referring to? Because I actually personally missed it. No, it was, it was me and myself. It me and myself. I didn't crash with anyone. It was just a silly... It's just after turn one. I just got the kerb, slid on it. My tyres obviously must have been up to temperature yet, and I've gone in at the wall on the right-hand side. Then I let a few guys go. I let my teammate go. And I was fifth. And then Penels was sixth behind me on softs, and I was on mediums, and he weren't catching me, which was odd. But I was happy to, to see that, obviously. <laughs> so I'm running fifth, nice and cushy. No, nothing to worry about. All good. Uh, what are your thoughts about Barrow in the mix? Same question I asked Jono. Um, what are you kind of looking forward to, or is it kind of one of your burger tracks? No, I'm looking forward to it. It's a good track, quick track. Hopefully I'll get into the Q3, start high up the grid, and uh, hopefully come up with a good strategy and score some more solid points. 18 of them so far, mate. Um, obviously, probably would have, possibly would have been a bit lower, but incidents in front of you, really helpful. Obviously, you're not going to bleed and complain, are you? Um, no, not so, at all. Obviously... Although I am sorry for understand. Yeah. Big time. And Swanee. The key is, mate, don't be sorry for him. Be happy for yourself. There you go. Number one. <laughs> get, that selfish, get that selfish fucking mentality on you. Anyway, back a little bit. Well done, Ben. Cheers. Yeah, and now we move on to our third place, man. I don't, do you know what? I think with about six, seven laps to go, I, I, I don't think you honestly thought you'd be there in the podium, but here you are. 15 points, third place in the bay. The yeah. top driver in the McCasker oh. family. It's a base. <laughs> I would say top driver. Race, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> I just like controversy. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I can't really say too much about the race. Started 13th and just had to just try my best and just get into the, the points. Um, got a little bit scared when I come round, uh, I think it was like turn four, and that take, overtake hands down. The car got a little bit wobbly. Kind of did almost poo my pants a little bit because I thought I was about to bin it into a wall. Um, and then I checked the times just to see where uh, Mashman was, and I noticed he had a, I think it was five second gap on me, with nine penalties. So I have for nine. last lap, yeah, nine seconds. Right. La last lap, I'll, I'll, I had three seconds myself. I thought last lap, Rich, hot lap, catch him, see what happens. Um, 
I checked again, and while I was catching him, he got another three seconds. So he had 12 seconds altogether. And, yeah, just managed to get there. Three penalties. Well, the thing is that that's, um, that's just a, a hallmark of consistent drive, isn't it? If you can, you know, doesn't you don't have to be the fastest every race to, to, to do extremely well. If you're steady and safe and clean on track, eventually you, you, you reap the rewards. And 15 yeah. points is nothing to, nothing to be sniffed at. I mean, this is also your first out in an F2. Next week's Bahrain, judging by how you, you raced tonight, how you felt, what are your thoughts on next week? In a t in a, can, you, can you repeat a podium? Can you go better? What are your thoughts on well, that? Well, I'm always going to try and go better. Um, obviously, I've never done a race on Bahrain properly in the league, so obviously pressure's going to be there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put the practice in and just try and smash it. Cool. That's all I can do. Wise words. Our congratulations, uh, Lou. A solid yeah, podium in your debut. Can't, can't ask for more than that, mate. 15 points to the bag. Well done. I'm going to quickly ask, hand you over to uh, Pos, if there's anything uh, you'd like to uh, to add to the conversation. I'm sure there's going to be something. No questions, but uh, just a point with me and Lou. Uh, thanks, Beer. Um, me and Lewis actually had a conversation yesterday. <laughs> and I said some very, very interesting things to him. The one that I'm going to bring up was basically a base uh, around Mexico last season in, in Division 3. You had no mistakes, and you won. No mistakes. Yeah. Barring, I was actually going to, my question was going to be with the Ant Stand round turn 4, but you explained it quite nicely, so I don't have to go there. Um, we don't have to oh, I've, over, but... I've never held on so tight. I mean, even Monaco the other day with Tom on quali, where I literally skimmed his back wheel. Ant Stand's one was more <laughs> scary. Well, you had, um, I thought I was going to be talking with me about your little mistakes. That race, yeah. you ironed them out, and everybody else made them around you. And that right there is testament to that. You did a great drive, mate. My personal driver of the day, um, 13th to 3rd. Thank you. Um, um, no, absolutely not a problem, mate. Um, There's a good few really good performances. A couple that are kind of marred by silly incidents, which obviously will be yeah. looked at later. But to be fair, fantastic drive for you, mate. This is your moment. Take it to the bank. You're the first. Yeah. I think you're the first person to get podiums across two leagues. <laughs> so um, we'll leave yeah, there. Yeah, there's plenty um, more. Hopefully, Matt, up. mate, you never know. <laughs> and obviously, battling in Division Three this year, you're right back in it. Inadvertently, Division Two. Long way to go, though, Lou. Um, here's one final question for me before we wrap up. Um, what are your overall aspirations for this league? What do you want to achieve? Uh, to be honest, good racing, clean racing. Um hopefully finish as high as I possibly can on the board and just have a clean season. And that, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, is an insight for a base. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. 15 just, points. Just, yeah, yeah. just, 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 just be, be yourself. Be yourself, Lou. Tell them how it is. You want to fucking win. You want to win, dominate, yeah. and destroy. Well, That's what it's all about. Every, Take no fucking everybody prisoners. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to win. Absolutely. Um, but there is some quite quick drivers in here today that I probably would have gave a good fight. They would have gave me a good fight, but they've had a bit more practice. They've been in this situation well, a lot more than me. So I'm happy. The positive, I'm yeah, the, the positive attitude. Absolutely. Positive attitude to take, I reckon, is um, they're all fast, but they're not as fast as me when they've only got three wheels left in the car. Amen <laughs> to that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well done, mate. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to wrap up this video now, this stream RF1 live in Melbourne, Australia. The FT division, we've had, seen an absolutely classic race tonight with all sorts of stuff going on. We've, we had the rain, of course, in qualifying, which really shook it all up. Whew. I'm all hot and sweaty after that. Wow, and I've not, I've not even knocked one out as well. I'm still hot and sweaty, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a race that was. Uh, coming up, coming up, we have um, Sunday. RF1, the F1, the Division 1 boys, the elite, the creme de la creme of online racing will be I mean... live here in Australia. <laughs> 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 they will be live at... At nine o'clock, or there or thereabouts. So uh, make sure <laughs> Sorry, you're here. Man. Don't forget. That's all right. Don't forget. Tell your grandma, tell your granddad, your brother, your sisters, your cousins, sisters, brothers, lover. If they haven't followed me, follow me. Be there. It's the best TV in town. I'm telling you. There's nothing better than this. RF1 on a Sunday night and a Friday night and a Thursday night. It's brilliant. But for me, for pause for RF1, I'm going to say good night for now, and we'll see you Sunday. Bye for now.